Greetings, adventurers, and welcome, welcome all. My name is Ryan Zarecki, otherwise known as the Friendly Neighborhood Dungeon Master, otherwise known as the FNDM, and this is Cold Hard Witch, a D&D live stream playthrough of the Rime of the Frost Maiden module, brought to you by Lawful Stupid RPG. Speaking of which, let's go ahead and take a look around the table. Tonight, we have Lee playing Herrick, the cleric. We have Madeline playing Zolvana, the bard. We have Buddy playing Xander, the wizard. Amy is playing Fer Feriel, the rogue. And Rodney is playing Flynn, the fighter. There is a sixth party member, which will be revealed at a later time. Dun, 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 secrets, secrets. Um, so friends, let us go ahead, gather around the campfire, and let's tell a story. For the night is long and full of errors. All right, so first and foremost, we find ourselves in Icewind Dale. Now, Icewind Dale has become trapped in a perpetual winter. Ferocious blizzards have made the mountain pass impassable. It's impassable through the spine of the world. And it, it, the land has not felt the warmth of the sun in over two years. In fact, the sun no longer appears above the mountains and not even at what would be summertime do you see the light of day. In this frozen tundra, darkness and bitter cold reign as king and queen. Now the Dale descendants blame Aureal, the Frost Maiden, the god of winter's wrath. And the shimmering aurora that appears every night across the sky is said to be done by her doing its potent spell that keeps the sun at bay. Now the Dale folk live in a scattering of settlements known as 10 towns. Yes, that's because there are 10 towns. They like to keep it simple around here. So the drop off in caravans are coming in from the South and travel through the settlements in this never ending winter that has left everyone feeling isolated. Although each town has resolved to appease the Frost Maiden with either sacrifices of food, warmth, or humans, uh, Winter's Fury just seems to keep coming. For the adventurers such as yourselves, oh party of mine, Ten Town is a place to test one's metal. And in the spirit of heroes who have come before, leave a mark on this frigid, blighted land. So we find ourselves on the East Way, traveling towards the town of Bryn Shander. We pull in on a nice little campfire. And around the campfire, we see this group of adventurers are traveling in a caravan. Uh, their current companions are an ax beak who's pulling the caravan, which is currently being pulled by a couple of guards from the town of Bryn Shander. And then there's another cart, which is being pulled by a mountain goat. Herrick, you wanna, you wanna explain that? I'll happily do so, but shall we roll for inspiration first? As uh, Peter's just come in for 500 bits. We've not even started <laughs> yet, Peter. Oh, damn it. This is this is where all I'm getting. So this I'm is the first one. All of my punnery. All right. First one. All right. Uh, everyone roll for, roll a d20. Whoever gets the highest will get a d20 inspiration. Thank all you right. very much to Finnish Expert. All right. Come on, lands of ice and snow. Oh. Oh, oh it's never me, is it? Oh. Oh, am I am I gonna get the first inspiration of the game? Wait, I, is is it going um, to you really? I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm rocking out of sixteen right now. I see I see Herrick. I see um, Barrio. Not me. I see Flynn. All so right. I, easiest I, way of doing it, Madeline. Is top. Left. I hit the I hit the inspiration button. Oh, no, oh, no, 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 no. That's if you that. win it. God, look, she's getting too far oh. ahead of herself. I don't. She's know like it's mine. I know. Like I somehow have six inspiration. I don't know. Right. In row twenty. Okay. Top left. So there's the little D20 icon, D20. the second one up from the bottom. Um, Just let people know in chat as well, is we do have a newbie with us. Oh, so absolutely. Yeah. He's very new. So, yeah. so She's learning as she goes. What? So top left in roll 20. Top left in roll 20. Mm -hmm. Do you see the little dice? Yes. Yes. So hover over that and, and scroll uh -huh. down for the D20. There we go. Click that bad boy. Uh... If she saved oh. you all. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> oh. It's all about that. Ice, oh. wind, and chill. All Thank right, you, Peter. It. So the first <laughs> first person that wins it is a DM. Is, isn't this uh, campaign hard enough? Or okay. Shouldn't that be against the rules or something? I know, right? <laughs> hey, 
That's a good advice. Going tell a story, as uh, as some people say around here. So. Yes. Okay. <laughs> um, Thanks, so um, for me personally, uh, you see a uh, a dwarf with a long beard, braided. Um, he's shaven on both sides with a mohawk going down, and on one side of his head, he's got a tribal tattoo uh, going down from one side to the other. Um, he is covered in... Well, he, he's got furs and stuff on, but he's not as well-dressed as the others for the cold and stuff. Um, he, he has obviously got furs and stuff on. That's not an issue there. Um, he looks like he's got a massive backpack, um, and you can see multiple tools, different tools hanging off here and there, rope tied to it. Um, he's got a war pick in one. He's got a massive maul. It's, it seems like he's carrying half a shop. It sounds a little bit like Dick Van Dyke and Mary he's, Poppins, right? He's carrying like quite a bit of gear, but he's not complaining about it either. Obviously, at the moment, he's sitting on the sled. But um, So he's on a sled um, being pulled along by a mountain goat. So, yeah, he just looks like a warrior. Excellent, excellent. And then, across the fire pit, we see the unmistakable form of James Tiberius Flynn. Uh, yes, I'm James Tiberius Flynn, uh, human fighter. Surprisingly, it looks very much like this handsome visage right here. <laughs> that's convenient. Yeah, yeah no, that's <laughs> that is next level cosplay right there. I like it. Uh, clad in um, in the blue visage of the wolf guard that he is uh, that he is from. Um, he has he's 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 kind of like what you see at the Renaissance Festival. Um, uh, all, all, it's almost costumey if he didn't now, look like he could kill you. Now, does this mean that like Flynn's gonna go around and do lots of my lord and my lady, right? Good day to you. Thank no. you for coming to the fair. No, all right. Okay. No. Because <laughs> now I kind of want that a little bit. Just to oh, be. Little... You gotta pay extra for that. That's what. <laughs> That's fair. That's fair. That'll cost you that inspiration dice. Yeah, that's, yeah. It's like, <laughs> get rid of that inspiration. We'll talk. All right. Yeah. There it is. There it is. See that now. Now. See that. That's how I know I'm dealing with somebody. All right. Speaking of which, Fariel, the rogue. <laughs> so, um, actually, not very close to the fire, but leaned up against a tree, not too far away. Casual. Um, not, not a distance so far away as to seem off-putting, but just not right up in the middle of everything. Um, you see Fariel, she is, we don't see much of her really. Hood pulled up, covering the face. There's covering across her face here, dressed for the snow. Um, so really you see just dark skin and some golden eyes, um, dressed very well for the weather and dressed like they've been traveling for quite a while um, out in this weather. Bow slung across her back, just kind of leaned up, propped against the tree, keeping an eye on things. That's that bow is in boyfriend. That's uh No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, I just carry him around and around on my back. A gentleman you know? caller propped up against <laughs> young <yelling> spruce. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. All right. And then of course, uh across the way from that tree there, so ting 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 ting, we see Xander. Uh, yeah, so I'm a, an elf wizard uh, standing about six foot tall with blonde hair and very, very fair skin. So nothing at all like my current visage. Um, <laughs> uh, he, he has a, a rapier and a dagger, which is a little strange for a wizard. Uh, but, you know, it's, it's, it's just kind of his thing at the moment. Um, there's definitely an air of melancholy around him but you you can tell he's trying to kind of put on airs around that to to not to not seem that way but he uh doesn't doesn't talk a whole lot and when he does talk it seems like he's trying a little too hard brilliant which oh, brings us right now. to our last party member Zalvana. hello um Okay, I am Zalvana. I am sitting at the campfire, playing a little little loot action, just softly, just strumming and humming to myself. I have 
silver hair, much like this right here, and very light white-ish eyes. And I'm dressed for the winter, dressed for traveling, definitely. And as much as I am singing and humming to myself, I there is a, a level of melancholy behind it. Excellent. At this point, a captain walks over from the other table. Well, he certainly looks like somebody who thinks he's a captain. <clears throat> Make sure you keep your fires burning bright. There are things in these woods, and I would not have them approach without our knowing. Hmm? Hmm? Oh, if anything approaches, I'll know. Yes. Well, yeah, if anything approaches, she'll know. Good. Okay. Okay. She'll tell us, and then we'll know. My flies are always bright. Look, look, just keep the fires burning, all right? <laughs> yeah. Dad of the dog, gotcha. are you? Yes, sir. Puffs okay. walks back over to the other fire pit and sits down. Uh, in his uh, crew, guard group, uh, they're, they're the guys running the Axe Beak uh, caravan. Looks like a, a couple of guards with him and maybe a, an archer of some sort. So they look like some sort of escort for this caravan, though they certainly act like they're the lords of this land. Uh, and then sitting next uh, to you around the campfire, in fact, sitting next to you, Herrick, is a dwarf. She's, well, you can tell that they're a dwarf because of their stature, obviously. Uh, given that we're in Icewind Dale, everyone's bundled up pretty fiercely. And I say, it looks like uh, Fariel has the best option of it, just keeping yourself completely covered as best as you can, because it is cold as a mother. So sitting next to you is a dwarf. And she turns to you and says, <clears throat> Prick. Uh, so sorry, was you talking to me? No, 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 not you. The, uh, the, <clears throat> sorry. <clears throat> the, the, the good sergeant there. He uh, certainly likes to tell people what to do. What's your name? Herrick. Herrick. Rune. Uh, my, me and my associate Gums here are traveling to Bryn Shander. Uh, hopefully to get a little bit more news and, uh, well, that's okay. that is the place to go. What about yourself? Well, heading back home. Well, say home. I'm sort of here for a bit. Ah, oh, that's nice. Been you, away you... for a, a year or two. Nice. Shacked up in Bryn? Well, it's not my home, but yes, I've uh, I've been staying here in in one of the taverns. Yes, or in the right. taverns. Ah, oh, that's nice. That's nice. So, uh, you, uh, you guys a, a group? I mean, you. Yeah. Gang of murder hobos, you know, the adventure party, you you, you do the thing? Well, I've never uh, murdered anyone. And there's a group of us, so uh, just kind of? I I, one assumes that, you know, a, a, a diverse group of individuals with what appear to be a multitude of abilities? Well, just, you know, it's from my, from my, from my eye, my experience tells me it usually looks like kind of a group that would be out in the dale doing things talking about activities. are there things that you're looking to be done maybe maybe i myself it's just gums in me so uh i well, there's, there's two of us and there appear to be one two three two just about enough for you what? Enough, you say. Well, I, well, I just, you know, it's it's the Dale, friend. <laughs> it's the Dale. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well aware of that. Look back uh -huh. there. Um, now, uh, you, 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 you seem, you know, pretty interested in looking for an assorted group of talents. Mm -hmm. um, because the real question is, how, how much are you, are you trying to find out ah this see group. this is how i knew that th this was eventually going to be a little conglomeration because there's always a businessman oh business money <laughs> oh i need money <laughs> all right all right, all right. tell you what tell you what i'm i'm not so sure that you're uh you're exactly what i'm looking for just yet you seem you seem hardy but you also seem a little a little green you got that smell of the southerly wind about you still uh, well, I mean, you could always look at that group over, or maybe that group 
you seem to be fresh out of groups to look at. So, I, I, I there's, there's only two fire pits here, and there's only one that I would bother to piss on. Yeah, that's right. That's right. <laughs> Don't piss on that this one. Right? I was about to cook on it. No, I'm not gonna piss on this one. Okay. That's what I piss on. Okay. He does. Tell you what, to put some. Anybody here on. up for a little target practice? Oh yeah. Well, let me put some food on first. How about and... some target practice? Let's see. Oh no, 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 no. no. So, what, look, what look. sort of little targets do you do you have in mind? Oh well, I said there's plenty of a couple of trees about. I say uh, we have a couple rounds of throwing and see if uh, any of you can actually hit the side of a barn. I could use some practice with my dagger. Ah, uh, see, that's what I like. I like I likes me someone who's game for game. All right, who else? Anyone else going to play? Oh, yeah. I don't need any practice, but I'm down. <laughs> Ooh, confidence. That's good. That's good. Uh, all right, so. How about? Are simple. Tell you what, we'll, we'll play. We'll play for points since uh, none of you have any money, unless you've got some money. Oh, no, let's talk points first before we get into. Yeah, money. no, of course. Of course, out. Of course. <laughs> okay, points first. All right, all right. So here's the deal. All right. See that tree over yonder? I, I wager that to be about yeah, 15, 20 yards off. All right? So I go ahead. I take three throws at that. And we get a total of points depending upon where I hit the tree. You got the inner, middle, and then outside. All right? So you get points for the closer you are to the middle of the tree as opposed to the outside. Savvy? Clear. All right. All right. Excellent. Excellent person with the most points wins and then well, then we'll see if you're a uh, if you're interested in playing for a little bit of money there all right but again again points first points first well so, uh, so what does the winner win is this just a uh oh well you win apparently we win points you win points but you also win my attention well hmm. points and attention don't feel belly so i'm gonna miss out <laughs> And oh. I'm going to start the food. And how oh. about if you like it, you can tip the cook. <laughs> All right. Now, that's good. I, say, I definitely need and say, if you're not part of this group, I definitely need you in mind. So uh, anyone else uh, care to pass the time while the cook cooks? Well, it sounds like an audition, and I do like to put on a show. So let's do it. <laughs> yes. Excellent. All right. So I'll uh, I'll take the uh, the miss and the uh, the fighter there. And then uh, uh, my shrouded friend, are you going to be joining us as well? Yes. Yeah, yeah. No, talking to you, Miss Lean Tree. All right, all right, all right. So, uh, shall I shall I take the first three throws? By all means. Oh, lovely, lovely. All right. Here we go. Let's see here. First chuck of the day. <laughs> all right. So I take that. See, it's all about in the release. You got to make sure that you just and there. Oh, okay, okay. That was that was uh, that was a uh, two points there. And let's see here. Oh, oh, an eight. That one went wide. Must have wind. Must have caught it. And threw it off. All right, and um. Oh, there we go. There we go. All right, so uh, I'm, I'm up to 10 points. Scored myself a 14, an 8, and a 16. So who's going to take the next toss? I will, sure. Lovely, lovely. I just need three rolls with your preferred weapon. Ah, um, okay, so Keep in I... mind, he's shucking it. So uh, yeah. uh, give me a range to tackle. Shucking it. Um, so I'm hitting... The dagger, yes, in in the D twenty, or in um, D and D Beyond. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. Nicely done. All right. So you say you're already up with uh, with six points. I say second mm -hmm. shot was mm, that one went wild. And again, it's that, that's that wicked wind. Go ahead and give me another roll. Nice, nice. Another two points. Okay, okay. That's good. That's good. So you're up to eight. Well done. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> Lady of the Shrouds, Sir Fighter. Certainly. Excellent. Oh, 
just had a little bit of herb Good here. Gracious. All right. Ooh, I'd pull your hood down. Maybe that maybe it's blocking your eyes a little bit. Ah, there we are. There we are. Two points on the board. Lovely. Lovely. <clears throat> All right. What happened? What happened to the ranged? What happened to the rogue? <laughs> <laughs> it's, hey, it's not a sneak attack. All right? What you want? What you Ooh. want? All right. There we go. I'm feeling this. <laughs> oh, boom. And Mr. Flynn coming out with a bullseye. Well done. Well mm. done. Mm. Uh, got cocky. Wynn got that one. Yeah, yeah. Wynn got that one. He's <laughs> like, see, you should have listened. Should have like done the one toss and then just walked just away. Left like, oh, just left it away. Just left it and walked away. <laughs> and that, my friends, is a workshop. You're welcome. My name is Flynn. <laughs> All, right. All right, lovely. So lovely. So, in, uh, in in dwarvish, I'm gonna say I'm glad I'm not off to the side of that tree. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, well, you certainly seem capable of hitting a barn, as opposed to tree but I, I myself am not much better so you seem like the group for me why don't, why don't we go back to the fire and have a sit see if uh if cook actually is working on anything there all right so as you go ahead and make your way back to the fire uh rune sits down makes yourselves comfortable uh so herrick how, how's that how's that meal coming along i know it's only been like 10 minutes now do i, do I need to roll to survival no, oh no not even not even i say right. if you've got do you have cooking ability i do yeah i've got my well, cooking utensils and stuff Oh, yeah. I was trying to, trying to earn favor. Yeah, well, yeah roll me a survival check. Let's, let's see how that goes. Natural 20! Oh, ho, ho. Oh. Boom! Right, Best yeah, so meal nice. ever. Oh, right. Tastes <laughs> lovely. Oh, this is Just like... This is like <laughs> taste as a rabbit. Oh. Yeah. Oh, mm. tasty crit indeed. Oh, that is... <laughs> that is lovely. Okay, yeah, so, yeah. No, if she wasn't convinced after your uh, your display of arms, middling as it was, um, then she's definitely convinced after the meal. So she sits down and says, all right, well, so I assume you've heard of the murderers or the murders that have been, the murderers that have been happening. Yeah, the murderers, all the people running around murdering people. No, uh, the murders that have been happening around the Dale. Like specific ones or just like the ones that happen here generally? No, that's fair. That is very fair point made. Gum, isn't that a fair point? Gum goes. I think that's why you call him. Yeah, yep. yeah that's why it's just called. That's gum. Okay. Got it. No. Mm -hmm. uh, she says, so there's uh, uh, been at least three now that I've heard of going on around the Dale. Uh, we had a, uh, was it a halfling trapper in East Haven? And then there was a, a human uh i think it was a shipbuilder in targos and then not three days ago a dwarf showed up dead in Bryn Shander. Each, now how did he show up dead huh, huh each victim was found with a dagger of ice in his heart in their heart in their heart in their heart you know that you know that old adage of like don't stand under the icicle because if you look up it's gonna fall and like piercing in the eye sort of thing going on yeah 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 that well apparently these people got it in the heart. Wow. Now. So they were laying under the icicles? I, it certainly doesn't seem like there were any icicles to be fallen upon them or just plummet down in the middle of you know, wherever they were. But uh, yeah, so three murders. And Gums and I have been tracking this. And I'm, I, I'll be honest, I, I, I'm a bit worn out from having schlepped myself all the way across the Dale, and I'm no closer to a lead uh, than another body showing up. So, uh, if you're willing, I'd be willing to share what I know with you, see if you could help me out on this little caper. Well, I do enjoy helping people, so I'm willing to listen. What's in it for us? Well, um, my gratitude and my undying friendship. Oh, and yes, money. There, there's money involved. As well. I, I was hoping you were going to get to that. <laughs> as my friend here says, gratitude doesn't fill bellies. You are absolutely correct, though this stew certainly does. Gods bless you. That That's is good stuff. lovely. That's good stuff. Mm. Would you like right. another bowl? Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. Gums and I have Stop never had this good. charging for this. 
So, you uh, you in? Is is it possible to hear a little more before yeah. they commit? What? All right, all right. Okay, so I imagine I could go ahead and uh, tell you all of the moral reasons to do it, how there are women and children suffering and all that jazz, but I imagine you just want the dollar amount, right? Well, also, like, a goose chase a goose chase, but we're chasing goose through the snow here, and trails seem to drive pretty quickly in the snow. Well, well and sometimes if it, the trails and, disappear. And, and if we're going into a mouthful of frost giants... Oh, now, mind you, if there was a frost giant stomping around Bryn Chandra, someone would have seen it. Even the drunkest of drunk knows, knows what the hell an, a frost giant is. So I guarantee you, and I know frost giant. Now, hmm. given that it was in both Targos and Bryn Chandra, two of the biggest damn cities we got up here in the Dale, that's somebody who's got the ability to move about through towns, which means some fine folk that look like us. So, I'd be willing to give you uh, I'd say 75 gold. Double it. Be willing, willing to help me out. Well, now 75 gold each is a, is a pretty fair price for this, I Ooh. think. So now, 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 hold on, friend. 75 a piece yeah. is a bit steep for my ends. But if you're willing to... Uh, to bring me some results or some information, I'll, I'll see what I can do about drumming up a little extra for you. But 75 pieces might steep. Especially because I don't even know if you guys can deliver. But I got well, faith. You know, we can deliver on two thirds of it. I mean, look at the tree. It's two thirds dead. <laughs> That's true. That is very true. That is very true. I mean, if anything, we'll bring you back the top half. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. No, you throw that in a little bit of stew. I might be intrigued. So. Yin? Why not? My interest is piqued. Ah, there it is. See, I knew I smelled adventure on you. That's that's just the way of it. All right, kids. All right, pull up. Pull up. Gather around. Gather around. Night is long and dark. All right, so. There's a company. Travels around. Called Torx. Heard of it? Have we? Oh, all right, so it, 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 it's it's easy to miss. It's a small operation. Um, lady named Torga Icevane runs the business, and she and her couple of dog sleds run from town to town, and they they sell their merchants uh, merchants wares and whatnot. Which, if you ask me, probably half of it's stolen, the other half is mm, procured. Um, but I got a theory. I'm thinking that it's the guy who works for her gentleman by the name of Sethic Keltro. Uh-huh. Every town I've been to, they have either just visited or been staying at when something has gone down and out. Now, I haven't seen the man in the place in the time, but the coincidence, three times in a row, it's too much for me to call, oh, well, that's just day of luck. No, no. So his victims come from the only three towns on the Frost Maiden Nights of the New Moon. Now, you, you're aware of the sacrifices that people have been doing in the, some of the bigger towns. Yeah, that's... Um, you tell about it. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's not so good. Yeah, yeah, it's not great. So what certain civilized individuals uh, are uh, doing, uh, they're, they, there's, there's a lottery that goes on in some of the bigger towns. People draw and then, you know, all for the sake of Aureal, the Frost Maiden. But uh, uh, I'm just saying that Sephic seems to have found a way to either affect those lotteries or maybe find out people who had, and he's looking to off them one by one. I followed them for about a 10 day from town to town. It's a devious little enterprise, but it's not my concern. Now what struck me is how comfortable that son of a bitch seems in the cold. No scarf, no coat, no gloves. Something's off. So, if there's a guy who can put an icicle in someone's heart, I'd say it's that guy. But surely someone else seems must seem to think it's weird that he's out in all of this with no coat and no gloves. 
Does does no one else think that's peculiar? I, I would think it would get thought, attention. I would have thought you could look at a Harrick for one. He's not as well dressed as you look. He has got cold weather clothes, but he's not like thickly dressed. Mm -hmm. That's because he is thick. <laughs> no, <it's> thick. <laughs> True. Well, so thick I, 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 I guess that's a question. This this, this Suffolk Caltro. I mean, is is he is he a, a human? Is he an elf? Is he? Looks human. Certainly doesn't act like it. So anyway, I'll pay you the money. You apprehend him, ascertain whether or not he's the guy doing the deal, and then deal with him. Preferably without involving the authorities, because um, I don't know, as you've already met one of them, she points over her shoulder to the windbag at the other camp at the other campfire. They're not so reliable. When the well, job is them, done. them, they seem great. Oh yeah, no, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. So when the job is done, you return to me, and I'll get you your money. So do you expect this guy to be in this town that we're heading to? <laughs> and Brent Chander? No, he just uh, odds are he he just murdered a guy. If I just murdered a guy, I definitely wouldn't hang out in the town I murdered somebody. So he's definitely on the move again. But like I said, I'm tired, I'm old. I was advent I was adventurer too back in my day. Oh man, my party went through hell. What happened? But hmm? if you say an arrow to the knee, I'm gonna go. Oh so no, 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 no. Yeah, uh, I would. It was a whole thing. It was a big downward spiral. Yeah, I'll, yeah. Talk about it later. I mean, you point us in the right direction to start asking these questions. Where this dude is, I think we. I don't want to speak for everyone here, but I think it'd be doable. Absolutely. Absolutely. I'm going to point you to the North Look. There's a, it's an inn at the north end of Bryn Shander. You check that out, and I guarantee you somebody will have seen a thing, or at least knows a thing. Hell, you'll probably learn several things. Might point you in the right time to, in the, uh, in the right direction to go. Good. I was heading there anyway. Oh, good. Good. Yeah, no one should stop in Bryn Shander without stopping by the North Look. It's a, it's, it's a beautiful tavern. It, it yeah. is. It's, it's one of the only decent taverns in town. Yeah. So. The owner's not bad looking either. <laughs> yeah, Scramma Sex is a good looking man. Yeah. <sighs> so, Ian? I mean, might as well. It's going to be cold either way, so. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Good, good, good. Oh. All right, so who's... Uh, we want to set watches for the night, or everyone feeling comfy just sitting by the uh, fire with me and Gums? I just need to go and set one of my stairs first. You gonna what? How else would you think you've got rabbit stew? Uh, oh, of course, yeah. Whatever you... you should check by that tree. Everything was so wide over there, they might have killed an entire family of them. <laughs> I doubt it. I will, I will head out a little oh, while. I don't know what's more biting, the... Uh... Or a pessimist over here, the cold. Not... <laughs> <laughs> I'll uh, head out a bit of camp and I will set my trap. Nice. That I have. Uh, yeah, and I, I assume we'll just do standard standard watches and I will I'll for sure take a watch. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll take one too. Okay, cool, cool. Yeah, I will also do one. Fall in wherever, you know, fit in where I get in. <laughs> yeah, right, right, right. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. all right so lovely uh so the night passes Any, anything else anyone else want to sort of chat about or share i know there's a lot of a uh, info dump here at the beginning of the game so. i will go and check yeah, my trap lovely lovely uh the uh the what's going on with the the campfire next to us are they just kind of talking in Cavorian? So yeah, are they, are they listening of, like, at all to us or it's a lot of like this and then the Cast fireball. I was about to say, I kind of <laughs> want to mess with them. I kind of want to. Wrong campaign. So, judging by the looks of them, it's about two, two to three humans. Mm, one of them, two of them might be female. Like, it, it's hard to tell with the, with all the, the bulky, heavy winter clothing, but like, there's no dwarves in that group, and they clearly have some sort of <clears throat> uh, um, uh, just a little bit of a, a abrasion to. Uh, to, to non-human folk, which, bum. Okay. Yeah. 
Um, I've posted my hunting trap in roll 20, so... Oh, excellent. Distractions. <laughs> Brilliant. I like that. I will set it and put some vegetables in there for another rabbit or something, or whatever I've got spare. And okay. Okay. If I find a deer or whatever it is. <laughs> I, doubt, I doubt a deer is going to come close enough, but it depends well, on how far I don't, off you set that. Yeah, probably about 100 foot off maybe. okay okay well i like that i like that all right so the night passes my friends um as your watches are set i imagine you guys are keeping your eyes out from the fire and sort of looking out um it's cold it is just like like cramp your fingers like stamp stamping your feet like constantly going under your breath cold like well, so it's yeah, cold, but it, is it also hard? No, 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 no. Okay. How how does, see, how it's it's not traveling. so much the cold. Do we as see it is any witches? Chill. Yeah, no, no witches as of yet. As of yet. Um, <laughs> is it? Right. Um, how long we've we been traveling together? So, uh, this group in particular. Let's see. Is this first uh, night, or most most of you have been traveling from East Haven. East Haven is. Eh, it's, you've been traveling for about like this one day. East Haven is only about seven and a half hours away from Bryn Shander. So you, you, you've had this afternoon to sort of, and then of course this. Eat, oh, this so we're quite new to each other then. Oh, absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. Uh, but apparently. Uh, you're really struggling, you, aren't you? Um, oh, oh, let, <laughs> you've just had a donation. Um, I'll say, l let me help. And he pulls out of his bag a tiny little cube. And speaks the words, uh, Berenar Navel, and then it will start glowing. And then uh, he's like, <laughs> he puts it on like, uh, doesn't put it on the snow because it will just melt, but he puts it on something and then some, some heat comes off of it. Well, that's a, a handy, handy bit of kit. Fancy. Yes, I will post it in thingy if it lets me. Uh, uh, in the thingy. Uh, in the thingy, in the, th in, in the usual me flips. <laughs> it is called a thermal cube. Oh, nice. Yes, this nice. three-inch cube of solid brimstone generates enough dry heat to keep the temperatures within 15 feet of it at 95 degrees cool. Fahrenheit. Oh, Jeez, man. Jeez, crow. <laughs> she balming. You just, you guys are like... <laughs> It's hot. Oh, all right. Yeah, it's so hot. All right. It's starting well, to get layers off. Yeah, I mean, so if we can do that and, and just kind of parade for the group over there who is obviously cold, be like... Ooh, good oh, so, so warm over here. Oh, oh man. I, I definitely wore too many layers. <laughs> oh, my goodness. It puts that down. It probably starts melting the, uh, <laughs> the snow and stuff anyway. Uh, but before we go anywhere, I'm do donating inspiration, so you better get this party started by Pixel Pixie Quinn. So this is for a D20 inspiration. The DM can't roll for this one. So thank you very much, Pixie. We love you. So yes, everyone roll a D twenty. Thank you, Pixie. Thank you, Pixie. So everyone roll a D twenty. Have I rolled oh, come mine? Come on, twelve. Oh, I'm winning with a twelve. Come on. There it is. There Another it is. bloody five. Okay. Oh, hey, get the bad rolls out of the way now. <laughs> and yeah, yeah. No, and yeah. Herrick the cleric coming in clutch. <laughs> I'm not a cleric. I'm a warrior. No one I mean, knows I'm, sorry, I'm a cleric. The warrior. <laughs> But thank you very much, Pixie. We love you. So thank you very much, guys. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. All right. So the night passes. Uh, and so far, the watches seem to go pretty easy peasy. Uh, about midnight, like the sky sort of fades from its typical dark, like blues and ices to this glorious Aurora Borealis as it just seems to sort of almost slither and creep, sort of almost like very dark mark harry potter-esque across the sky as it just sort of slithers and like you kind of watch this which normally would be just like a beautiful sort of like oh but like to everyone here it's just like oh crap and then all of a sudden it seems to almost break like a tendrilled hand and seems to waver and come down. And as it descends, it's sort of like doo -doo 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 -doo, like just creeps and then 
on the sleeping forms of Flynn, Zulvana, Xander, Fariel, and Herrick. And it taps every single one of you. All right. And like the guards, one of the guards who was on watch suddenly startled, like hit, like starts thumping his mates to get up. And then all of a sudden, each of you inside your head here. Behold, a child of midwinter. And then the tendrils all snap off and immediately get pulled into the sky. Now, Sergeant, up like that. And it's just like, the hell was that? Was it enough to wake us up, DM? So those of you, yeah, no, so all of you who were asleep, so I believe, let's see, uh, we had, the order was Xander, and I think, I believe the second was Burial, right? Yes. Yeah. yeah. So I think the only one who was awake to actually watch it happen, you kind of watched it sort of come down and tap, and like as it, touched you, Fariel, we didn't, you didn't, like, it didn't feel like anything, but you, like, you you could see it making contact with your skin. And you heard the voice clear as day. And so the sergeant's looking at you going, what the hell was that? What a miss. Up, all of you, up. Come on, what? guards, Could on your feet. What? What? What's going why, on? Why? Why do you be loud? You loud, buddy? Why there is loud? some witchcraft here going on. One of you. All of you. What are you? Cultist? Was it the stew? Huh? I don't have that Which, kind of dedication I, I, how to be cultist. How do we know it's not you? What? You? I saw you. You were on guard. The, the, the tendrils came down. They touched each and every one of you, and I heard it. I heard the voice in my head. Did, didn't you? And then like the other two. Oh, what? Oh, have you, oh, have you been so drinking bad. while on guard? Yeah, I mean, Sergeant, th that much grog while you're while you're on guard, that's that's a dereliction of duty, and oh, we may have to re you. we may have to report this if you, you shut your mouth, civilian. Look, I know clearly you had way too much to drink. Uh huh. Yeah, really. So that's the way you want to play it. All right, fine. You're the if one you that woke us me, up screaming. What do you if mean? You don't how tell me we right now me. what you're about. I will arrest you. I will arrest all of you. I'm you about to kick that ass if you don't calm the hell down and tell us what's going on here. Uh, I tell you what I'm about. I'm about to lie back down and go to sleep. What? I'm, I'm about six foot tall. <laughs> I'm about tired of your shit. Huh. Oh really? All right then. You are all under arrest. In the name of the city of Bryn Gander, <laughs> I expect each and every one of you to come with me. And if you don't, well, then, wait, are we are we are we trying to get to Bryn Gander to begin with? Yeah, I guess yeah. We sure, are. yeah, yeah. No, let's go. Come on, Do sure, it. yeah, go. yeah. But it, you're you're, you're going to come to Bryn. You're going to come. You, have you never had an arrest go this well before? No, I've all all my arrests. Go so you're new. Well. I mean, clearly you arrest people all no, the time. I, I know how to. You, I do my job. Uh, mm -hmm. Yes, you do. Quite you well. Do, do your job. Now, come on, let's go. You're going to try to take us somewhere. So, all right, so, find them. What did you see you, exactly? There were tendrils from the sky that came down. Sky tendrils. And, and they they like touched that each and every I one like of that. them. I don't like that. Oh, I feel blessed. I've been touched by sky tendrils. <laughs> I, I did not give consent uh, for any tendril to touch me, so I either. was not touched. Um, Can we do some he, kind of check to drinking? see if we feel any different? Yeah, has he actually been Oh, drinking? absolutely, yeah. So all, all of you can make a perception check. Okay, cool, cool. Oh, I was going to say I'm good at that. Has he actually been drinking the, the night before? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, this no, this this guy is so straight-laced, it's like, it's painful. Right. Um. Okay, so I'm doing a perception check. Yeah. How do I do that again? So, oh, oh, no, there it is. All right. So if you go ahead and look on your sheet, you should see a skills list. A list. Yep. 
and just go down that list to the perception and then you'll look for the you'll move your thing over to the little modifier which is the plus sign and then click on that red ah. dice and it should populate <gasps> et voila Look, what, just cracking it off boom 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 perception 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 okay oh, so uh Silvana with a 12 with an eight yeah you're tired and you're and you're warm but like you, you don't feel any different Tiberius with a 23 hold on to that Xander with a 22 oh. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and uh Faria with a what well, We'll go with the 17. Yeah, so 17. I, was, I don't know why I rolled yeah, like I was, that. <laughs> it's like, apparently you wanted to give yourself disadvantage on the perception. You're like, I'm so tired <laughs> of this bullshit. I am giving myself disadvantage. <laughs> uh, yeah, so with the 17, again, like you saw it. You saw it touch you and you don't feel any different, but you heard the voice in your head. Uh, and then Herrick, with the 15, like you're about in the same boat as Zolvana. Like you, you, you don't necessarily, you don't feel any different than you did before. Like you, you feel fine. So uh, now, gentlemen, I'm going to be sending. OK, so hey, friends at home. This game focuses a lot around secrets uh, and people who know things or about themselves and about other people's in the game that they don't necessarily know themselves. So uh, that's part of the fun of playing this module. However, in order to convey secrets, it makes it very difficult to do in a live stream situation. Because normally I'd just be passing notes like I was in grade school. But uh, for this instance, we're gonna have to go ahead and have, <laughs> we're gonna have to ha go ahead and either have, uh, so I'll have my party members, I can either post to you stuff in chat, which is nowhere near as dramatically fun for the group, um, or I'm gonna go ahead and have everyone mute and then I'll talk individually to the people that I need to talk to for their secrets. And by mute, you mean take their headphones off. Yes, indeed. <laughs> Try to, the yeah, exact yeah, opposite. La, 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 yeah, mute, exactly. So. <laughs> Lots of that and whatnot. All right. So I'm going to start with Xander. All right. So, so uh, are, headphones on. Everyone are, are else. Zan Xander, we each get different messages. Is that what, what you're? Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, uh, so, yeah. So Xander, I'm talking to you. Everyone else, earmuffs. So, good stuff. So, uh, Xander, as you feel the tendril, and then with that perception check, you see almost a halo-like quality over Herrick. Okay, obviously something that wasn't there before. Mm -hmm. Okay. And it's the same color as the aurora above you. Oh, okay. All right. All right, cool. Now that's you. Now. Now I get the now I get the fun job of trying to tell Flynn he's up. All right. <laughs> All right. Okay. So, Flynn with that same sort of, with that perception check that you just had, you hear this voice in your head. And he's just like, it's him. It's the cook. The the, the cook of the voice who said I heard, heard no, my head? like the voice in your head says, it's him. It's the cook. Oh, the cook is the, the, the midwinter child. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> or that's what it says? Okay. What? All right. <laughs> and so, all right, friends. So uh, after this captain's like bluster and I keep saying captain, he's actually a sergeant, but he feels like a captain. At least in this <laughs> well, I, I, I change his rank every time I speak to him. Just <laughs> That's for, true. Just for fun. Oh, yeah. I think he changes his rank every time he talks. Um, <laughs> all right. So it, you are all placed under the arrest of the Bryn Chander force, militia, people. Bryn Chander force. <laughs> I didn't Shander force. <laughs> oh, Obama told you it was a stupid name. <laughs> I didn't pick the name. You the one who said it out loud. <laughs> Sounds real tough, guys. Real tough. tough. Yeah, well, just you wait. I mean, look, you arrested all of us. Yeah, you, you're doing great so far. Yeah. 
Yeah, we did. So. Yeah, you did. We're now going to watch you until the morning comes. Cool. So we can go back to sleep. You're going to watch. Oh, yeah, that's right. All right. Cool. Criminal. Cool. Awesome. Yeah. Thanks. You get so bad. Thanks Criminals. for taking watch. I really appreciate you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You just going to watch us. We're just going to. Gonna... Yeah. Thanks, man. So I have to tell you, I have to, I have to complain about this. There is a rabbit trap out there in the woods, and if you get near it, it's going to bite you. So don't don't venture too far out. He doesn't know how to take that little moment of friendship. <laughs> nice. good, good. I, I want it to seem mysterious. All right. So night passes, and those poor guards are sitting there just like watching you. Cold, <laughs> luster, and I was like, "And we get luster. a nice long and every, rest." And every, yeah, and every time, and every time they, uh, they start to nod off, uh, uh, Captain, uh, Captain uh, Sky Flintheart, Sergeant, uh, <laughs> keeps nudging them. It's like, no, nah, eyes on them. Make sure they don't move. And so, morning comes, the aurora fades, and uh, the Captain says, "All right, all right, on your feet, on your feet." You sergeant, hate. shut up, Oban. Hate right. mornings. So, I'll uh, have you group in front. Thank you very much. And, uh, yeah. Wait. What the hell is that? And he goes ahead and stares behind him. As he st actually stares behind you, not behind him. He stares behind himself. <laughs> He's like, what the hell is that? Testing. Triple take. No. Um, <laughs> I have eyes no. in the back of my head. So he's staring off behind you into the woods about where that, that rabbit trap was. Uh, <laughs> and what have I done? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, poor, poor Fatima. No. Um, so uh, and off in the distance, there's this sort of blue light that just seems to emanate from two spots in the side of the road. And you see Rune's face just go like it's cold and you can't see a lot of it, but she just goes sheet white. She's like, oh God, no. Uh, I, in, in Dwarvish, I'm going to ask her what, what it is. She says back to you, cold light walker. Hey, everybody. You know what time it is? Yep. Uh-oh. <laughs> time, time, time for us to leave the sergeant and his men to die. Yeah. Yeah. All right, um, so, just this quickly. This is where Flea comes in, right? Can you guys hear me okay? Because my mic, my voice mod stuff crashed. So is my mic all right, yeah? Oh, yeah. yeah you you go. We got you. No, I, yeah, I think no, I, Yes. It's initiative I time, is it? Sound. All right. Brilliant. So let's go ahead. Ladies and gentlemen, go ahead and put your tokens on the battle map. Da, 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 da. I'll go ahead. Ooh, uh, first so, battle map. So we have sort of the uh, the initial group there in the middle. Um, I'm still on the main screen. Game. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I told y'all there'd be errors. Hang on one second. Let me go ahead and uh, <laughs> jump y'all to the actual map you're supposed to be on. Yay. Uh -huh. there we this go. is what being a DM is like. All right. Oh, uh, were y'all still looking at that main screen the whole time? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, I had a cool little fire pit light up and all that. Oh. Oh. No. Wait, tragedy Tragedy happens. All right. Oh, I, you know, I've got to load up the... It usually be flip. There we go. So where are we in relation to them? So uh, you've got Rune is right here. And then here is Gum. Uh, so, presumably, y'all would have been around that group, uh, and then remember they were looking behind you. So the walkers. So when you say here, I, I didn't see a pain. Oh, I'm so sorry. So like uh, around here-ish is where you should place you. Basically, you should be somewhere around the dwarfs, uh, who are these two characters right here. And I see Fariel on the board, Herrick on the board. Yeah, your ping's not working. Some reason. Yeah, I didn't see. Wait, my ping's not working. Yeah, mm -mm. Not Check your layer. Thing. You might not be on the right layer. Oh, oh, yeah. oh that is exactly <clears throat> what it is. Because here I am trying to do things. So pinging is that? There you go. Yeah. There it is. Okay. 
Yeah. To say in a big hello and welcome to everyone, guys. First show. Great turnout by everyone. Thank you very much. Yeah. For Thank you so yes. much for... We Love. are doing a giveaway. Exclamation mark giveaway will allow you to enter. Um, I, I don't see myself on the board. Right. The way of doing that is in roll 20 top right, you see the journal. The second icon on the on the uh, thing, if you hover over it. Yes. If you scroll down, you see your name in there. You don't want to drag the picture. You want to click on your name and drag. Okay. One moment. Okay. There you go. All right. Cool. There. And then just click back on the little speech bubble. And you'll see where your rolls and that come. So we're rolling initiative. We need an initiative tracker. We sure do. Shipping. Yeah, and I also have a quick reminder of um, which stats each of the color bars are. I know health is red. What are you using for the other two? Oh, so I've got red is health, green is your perception, and blue is your armor class. Though so everyone okay. should have those filled in. Oof, okay. Why? I think I did that. Uh, 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 you did. <laughs> well done. Like you you did remember that. to you remember to click on your token first. I did. You <laughs> did, did a thing. thing. Did a thing. Whoop. Whoop, whoop. Oh no! I don't like going first, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome for being the rogue. Played a rogue then. Well, if you were a goblin <laughs> rogue called Jax, he very rarely goes first. I just roll really bad rolls for him. All right, y'all. Well, this was a good combat, Ryan. This uh, yeah, no kidding, right? On. Yeah, good job. All right, all right. So let's please stand by. Oh my goodness. While we're waiting for Ryan. So do you remember? Do you remember earlier when I told you that I had two keyboards and had to make sure that I was using the right keyboard? <laughs> <laughs> there we go, ladies and gentlemen, bad guys. All right, so. <laughs> and it's not it's not pressing, but I did send you a private. It's not pressing though. All right. Well, I hope it's you telling me how much you love me. No, I'll do that on stream. I love you, Ryan. You're doing really good. Oh, thanks, bud. You are. You are. All right, friends. So let's go nice ahead. Guy. And I've got two tickets to pay. While we're waiting, I'm gonna vamp. So, what did people think of last night? <laughs> Loved <laughs> it. Yeah, that was awesome. <clears throat> like, there's so many good singers. Oh, oh my god. Yeah, no kidding, right? <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. <laughs> I was, was every guy had like goosebumps every time one of the songs come on. I just had these goosebumps, and I was like. <gasps> I'm so proud of these guys. Yeah. They've done amazing work. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, amazing. that was really cool. I feel like that should just go viral or something because that was. I am hoping it does. Yeah. Um, I'm going to get right. with um, Alias Prime and who who done all of the um, like the rendering and stuff for it. He done an awesome yeah. job. I'm going to get with him and we're going to get some nice bits and pieces and I'm going to post it to. We used to post a lot of that sort of stuff to Reddit and it used to get used to just go like on fire. Um, as long as we don't you can make that, that happen again. Yeah, I, I, I'm desperate for someone to go back on Reddit and do Reddit, but I hate that. I got place. you. <clears throat> you got, oh, you got it. Okay. Oh, yeah, you do Reddit, didn't you? Mm -hmm. Yes. All right, I'm so glad to have you back, Amy. Time. I have missed you <laughs> being around. All right. So, top of the order, if I am looking at the. Sh well, of course, it's got to be. Panic. Mm. Nope. Yeah. So, we'll flip that. There it is. Strike that, reverse it, and surprisingly, there I'm second. Right. That's not going to happen very often, guys. Yeah, <laughs> right, right. There it is. All right, so, uh, Theria, you see behind you two, well, uh, what appear to be humanoid forms wandering towards you, except the entirety of their face is just a cold, harsh blue light. It is as if like the entire head has been gone and they're just filled with the cruelty of winter. Do we know what these are? Have we ever seen them? Nope. Not heard about them or I was say you definitely heard uh like rumors of like dead lights or cold lights. And so uh they it's, it's but it's but they're like a boogeyman. Like 
Wow, it's okay. like, oh yeah, no, you see him wandering the ice all the time, and like, oh yeah, sure, you see him. Just in the mm -hmm. same way that you like, you think uh, the good sergeant there has perhaps had too too many. Like these are the kind of things that you don't expect to see. All right. Okay, so, Ferio, we have movement, attack, bonus action, all that jazz. But first, first and foremost, what are you going to do with all that roguish debonair? <laughs> Just flip out my my short bow here um let's see i'm thinking i'm gonna move a little bit back as well just to put some more distance between myself and them so let's see i like that I think yes making sure i've got my movement speed correct and then i will um shoot an arrow at this uh topmost thug here oh the, the thugs are friends aren't they Oh, are they? <laughs> Just kidding. I mean, you absolutely. I mean, I don't like them. I would, I would recommend that. Uh, say or uh, say that that's a bold okay. choice. My yeah, my map is like, surprise, okay. motherfuckers. Just kidding. Yeah, right? Oh, there they are. Yeah, so I didn't couldn't see them. Are the dead things? Yes, and say. Well, so then, uh, not moving toward them, but moving <laughs> away from them. I was them. gonna say, I was like, Man, you know. <laughs> She's just coming out swinging. It's fine. It's and fine. That is brilliant. Okay. Also terrifying. Okay. okay. DM, so. can you can you color them for us? Um, Why can I? I certainly could. You probably want to okay. shoot first, Amy, and then move. There we go. We'll have Mr. Yeah. Red. Uh, you might want to shoot first and then move. Well, you're going to give yourself disadvantage. What short bow range? I can't remember. Oh no, short. No, short, I've got short. 80 feet. Oh, is yeah. it? Oh, okay, cool. Up to 320. I'm fine. No, I just, for some reason, they are like right on the edge. So I'm having trouble um, seeing them, but that's okay. Yeah, I'm good. All right. Short bow it is. Roll right. We've got All any combat, combat music, damn, have we? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. 25 yeah, yeah, yeah. to hit. Let's, Don't forget to call out your hits, right. guys. And. Remember what you rolled if you can call them out. Some people okay, can see them. It depends. Right. It's such a finical thing. So, oh, depending on where the die is. Yeah, so that was a 25. Oh, yeah, that, that 25 will definitely... That, um, that. Who was it? Where's the lady that was that we were challenging with the tree? Oh, that is... I say Rune. She is right here. All right. So with that 25, I just turn and give her a little wink. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> I love that so much. Awesome. So yeah, that that twenty five definitely hits red or yeah red. Uh, all right. So yeah, you see that it like how much hits damage, them. Amy? Um, nine. Nice. Oh, okay, okay. I mean, that, that'll do something. Mm. Roll the five <laughs> on a d six. What do you want from me, people? Hey, right, right. Mm. I say we're all we're all working. We're working real, real hard. This is level one. <laughs> exactly. You say no, your level. All right then, uh, Mr. Herrick. Um, I will see obviously uh, Lady um, Zalvana, and I will <laughs> st stand in front of the. I'll protect yourself, my lady, and I'll lift up my shield, and then he'll whip out a uh, a war axe and just hold his action. To, when they come close, he's gonna whack them. Nice, nice. Uh, so as as you all do that, uh, Rune behind you says, "Fools, get the hell out of here! They will kill you." And so she tries to move around, and she actually gr comes up to you, Xander, grabs you, and starts pulling you back a little bit. So like, you got? Um, do you resist that? No, I'll, I mean, well, depending on how far she she pulls. I mean, she's only she's to say she's she's a dwarf, so she's only got about five feet of movement left. So she's uh, yeah, pulling I'll, back to Flynn. Uh, yeah, I'll allow that. All right, and then uh, Gums is going to go ahead and try to to move up to here to cover her, and then the first. Oh, sorry, I say the uh, the, the non-marked cold lighter will go. He is going to go ahead and cast his blinding light. And so you are, sorry, apologies. He, he's going to go ahead and uh, 
he, he sort of focuses his gaze. He doesn't have eyes. It's strange. But like the shroud of him looks and just and like sends out this blast. And as oh, don't you dare. All right, then. So as that blast goes, that is going to be. All right. <laughs> yeah! Wow! <laughs> Bring it, DM, with the wow. one. <laughs> Y'all yes. were supposed to be the scary thing, and right now, like, <laughs> the only thing scary is. Yeah, I'll turn to the other dwarf, and I, are you sure? Yeah, right, right. So, okay, so he fires the first shot, and that goes pitifully awry. Uh, and he's going to try to attempt to do a second one, and it just. <laughs> Like, but like the kicks up the snow, and it just it's this like a penetrating ray of frost, but it just seems to like rip through the ground. However, with the 13 that he rolled, like it like it kind of like gums is able to sort of pull, like dodge himself to the side out of the way of it, but like as it hits the ground, like just this like shard of icicles shoot up from the area where it hits. It does not look like something that you want to just wander into. Oh God! <laughs> All right, I'm uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna look at uh, um, don't know what her name is uh, Rune and say, I I I see I I understand now. <laughs> yeah. Oh ah. Oh. Uh, speaking of which, Xander, it is your turn. Um, I am. Oh, gosh. Did they both go? Did they? Just the one went. Because uh, currently the one in red is trapped in uh, the rabbit <laughs> in the bear trap. Oh, really? So it's currently, like, ah, like trying to rip its leg out of it. So. Oh my God, I love that. So, oh, good job, well, rabbit trap. I mean, if, <laughs> if, if he's trapped and can't go nowhere, then. Well, uh, because he's trapped and I can't go nowhere, doesn't mean he can't light you up. But all right, baby, if you want. <laughs> I mean, does anybody else seem like they're. Uh, they're making to run yet? Uh, like, so you saw Rune grab and then like Gum tried to move up to support. Uh, literally the captain and the, like the, the, the sergeant and his guards are like, oh, uh, uh, like they're shaking. Clearly, like they expect to just go down the road and come back up the road and things don't come up on the road. It's the road. Well, of, of course it is. Um, all right, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna move back just a little bit here. And um, I am going to toll the dead against that guy, uh, against the red Midnight Walker. And so that's a, I haven't learned this new DCs, uh, DC 13 wisdom save, please. 13 wisdom save. All right, can and will do. All right. Uh, how about uh, how's an eleven? Does that does that do the thing? You know, it almost does, but it, it doesn't. almost does the thing. Okay, well that's good. And then this was on, on red, on red. All right. And he's gonna take twelve necrotic. Oh, oh he's so seeing things. All right, all right, yeah. So that like that, doom hits, and like while no one else hears it, like his like he's staring at the trap, trying to get his leg out of it, and he, you just see him immediately like put his hands up to his head. <laughs> and sort of try to cover at his skull as if it just sort of shakes uncontrollably. Oh, nicely done, bud. Well, so, I mean, that's actually good to know. So even though they're faceless, they seem to be reacting as a Having normal a, a human. Yeah, okay. yeah, no. Okay. So yeah, magic damage seems to be doing stuff and the arrow seemed to do some damage as well. So, okay. Uh, right, and that's, that's, that's me. That is, that is Xander. Up next is Zolvana. Okay, so yeah, I'm I'm going to can I give Bardic inspiration? Absolutely. Just to like can I give it to everyone or it just has to be one person? So you you can grant Bardic inspiration, I believe at the current level you're at three times, but you can only grant it once, uh, one at a time and only to one person at a time. Okay. Um well, I'm going to give Bardic inspiration um Oh, to Ferial, and because I think they're up next. No, no, no. I'm sorry, to Flynn because he's up next. Dig it. And um, 
I'm going to back away a little bit. <laughs> That's good. That is very good. Okay. All right. Anything else? Um, no. Do I have to roll for bardic inspiration or anything? No. How does your no, bardic you... inspiration come? Oh, it comes in the form of a song. <laughs> and Flynn, I hope you do so well on this next attack. <laughs> 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 oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. Uh, that was a hundred percent what the people wanted. That is does, brilliant. Does, does that have any effect on the 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 walkers? Do they do they seem like they want to leave the town now? Do uh, they get yeah, angrier? I mean, uh, Red Walker is currently like a like hard invested in uh, the rabbit trap. The the one down in the lower in the southern corner is just kind of like. <laughs> Like he's he's quizzical about it. He's like, oh, 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 I love that, that song. <laughs> uh, okay, so now before Flynn's turn, actually, I say, oh, all the other idiots get to go. So uh, the say the the guards charge forward and say, get back, you, 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 you sergeant, and the sergeant like tries to move forward. He's got five, ten, yeah. So oh. they get to about there. Uh, and the scout holds back, and uh, so each one of them try to like move up to sort of help cover you. The scout is going to go ahead and try to do her job. Let's see no if she way. can. Right. Nope. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> you try to help out your level <laughs> one party players, and the dice are just like, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I Hardly. think we established these guys are a bunch of losers already, so. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Before the next round, uh, <laughs> F in DM. Yeah? F in DM. We've just been gifted 500 bits by our lovely Maris. Oh, Thank yay, you very much, Maris. Liz. Um, if you haven't got inspiration yet, a D20, please roll for inspiration. So, which is, so everyone remembers, it's just a D20. Thank you very much, Liz. It's not me because I've. Oh come on! <laughs> I'm winning so with a big nine have, right now. I don't know why the DM's rolling. He's already got it, unless you've already used it, DM. I I, I most certainly have not rolled. Oh. Not even one. So we've got Ferial with a nine, Xander with a nine, Flynn with Ooh. a two, and Zavana with a seven. So we have a roll off. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a roll off. Ferial and Xander. Roll so roll again. Roll off. Roll off. Oh. Roll off. Oh! oh. <laughs> right. So Ferio yeah. rolled a four. To the bottom. Yeah. No. <laughs> rolled a four. It's a natural Zander one. Rolled a natural yeah. one. So uh, Amy wins it. Thank you very yeah, much. Way to With, go. A very much yeah, with a four. With a four. four. Yeah. yeah. You know that Zalvana's inspiration just really, really you know? spoke to me, and that's <laughs> why I tossed that one out there. Uh. <laughs> Absolutely brilliant. Dear Lord, <laughs> I won with a four. Said one person I know ever. All right. So, uh, all right. Next up, Mr. Flynn. Um. All right. Uh. So Rune is has is, is like y'all need to get out of here. Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 Rune is like, no, 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 no. We run. Like we run from these things. Um. I am immediately gonna start yelling at the guards. <laughs> wait, Dumb wait. dums, get in your car. We're moving out. Dig it, dig it, absolutely dig it. All right, so you say you out the car. Is that it? Uh, no, I've also got a crossbow because I'm not getting near these things. <laughs> good, good. Um, Mayhaps you take some of that movement to to back on up. Yeah, yeah, like um, in the like just uh, to the general direction out or do. Or yeah, do so I will consider you to have fled the area when you get off this side of the map. Okay, okay cool, cool, cool. Dig and it? I will. So. Go. Hold on. Let me track this so I can still stay in range for, uh, for. Ah, uh, that that for delicate dance of. So, do do do. Where can I get? Yeah, I'm gonna go about there. Here, and hopefully that still leaves me in range to. You could always shoot and move. Yeah. You oh, that's still the range for me. So I'll, take, I'll take that. All right, so you're taking a shot at... Yeah, at the uh, red one. Love it. Nice. Ooh, yes. Well, apparently, my level one players came to play today. Yes. <laughs> that is delightful. Okay, we're, just, so. we're just trying to save your NPCs, man. 
Oh, yeah, th yeah thank you. What did you roll, Seven. Rodney? Uh, I rolled a nice 18 Bro. with a with a good old six points of damage on it. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. I, I see a 23 with six points of damage, but say what? 18 on the die plus five for the, oh, for the I modifier. See, I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. Yes. I say we're talking that math talk. All right. Mm -hmm. So, all right. Excellent. So again, doom, red like takes the takes the shot. The bolt goes through. As the bolt goes through, almost like a little pinprick of light, ding, as if like you had like you did that thing where you had the sheet above your bed as a kid and you poked the holes in it so like the lights would come through the stars like that but an undead sort of bed sheet monster thing going on right now oh hell no we gotta go yeah 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 so that is what you're dealing with awesome uh, and then ladies and gentlemen top of the order fairy on the road <laughs> you are up okay quick question uh Go mechanical ahead. question how do you handle like firing through friendlies? Oh, uh, unless you like Nat won it, you're you're gonna be fine. I assume okay. that you have had like enough sufficient training that you're not gonna like shoot somebody. <laughs> now, if it is, if it's like everyone in your party is packed in a corridor, right? Like not down a hallway, maybe. But... That like, but, <laughs> no. but like in in an open terrain like this, and there's if you're shooting through like one person again, unless you where you are now, you'd be aiming up anyway. Okay. Okay. So bringing up that mad archer paradox five. Dang it. All right. <laughs> um. So I'll just oh, shoot, pull shot. out my bow. Um. I'll look at these guys and be like, "Run, you fools! I'll cover you," and um, shoot again at that guy down the way. Trigger, trigger, trigger. She rolls. Oh, a 10 is not enough. It like buries itself into the snow next to him. Distracted, Boom. telling these guys to run. And yeah, I was just right. like, yeah, 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 yeah. what are oh, you doing? Must, must no be good. That. That's what it's no good. All right. Yeah. Are you going to are you going to move or are you going to stick? Stay? I'm going to move just a little ways okay. toward the exit, so to speak but okay. not too far because i want to be able to kind of keep cover if necessary all right there we go next up herrick uh, he's like looking forward and looks behind realizing he's being left oh are we leaving are we <laughs> oh, but i really like that trap uh he will Aww. walk back pick up his thermal cube and start yeah start going man love it so five ten fifteen twenty 25 I no think way. I can move as a normal roll. Yeah, that, that, that's normal move. Um, and I, I mean, I don't know if I've already picked up the thermal cube. I was just flavoring it, but do I double move or, or what? Uh, I would, uh, if you want to dash, I would allow you to dash yeah, at this time. Okay. I don't Five, think gonna pick, you're familiar enough with the cube that like picking it up wouldn't be like, how yeah. do you do? I can handle it anyway. It's, it's, it's not something that you don't have to do. You can exactly. It. All right. Um, I will do that and I would, okay, we're leaving. And before we do anything else, thank you to your lovely wife. <gasps> Yay! Thank you very much, Tess. 500 bits. If you haven't got inspiration, please roll a d20. <laughs> Y'all, that is everyone's going to get it. I think I already got trans again. Only one. Oh, no. Ronnie doesn't have inspiration? I have Bart, I but I don't have, like, the... Yeah, you oh, can gotcha. roll. You can roll, yeah. Everyone roll a d20. Oh. <laughs> Finally! <laughs> Flynn for the oh, win. No. Oh. oh man! I feel bad I, about that. I, feel, I got out of. I, I got so out of single that. digits. Oh. I got out of single digits. <laughs> hey, no, these these are the rolls you want to blow the bad rolls on. Hey, you don't Zach. always need single or er, to be out of single digits to win. That's right. Just Xander, ah, I won with a four. <laughs> Xander pulling up that big three, which is still not the four. That uh, that Ferial had. Last yeah, right. Time. That clutch. <laughs> but thank you very much, Tess. Um, yeah, um, Flynn gets the inspiration. So tick your yeah. inspiration box in D and D Beyond. Done so, and thank done. Thank you very much. Awesome sauce. All right. Sauce. Says we're all level one. We're gonna need it. <laughs> all right. So this that Walker is ch -ching, ch -ching, like trying to break that chain, and it is just. That's a damn good trap, Eric. <laughs> what kind of rabbits are we hunting? Good I lord! The thing know. it's just a trap. It's a, actually um, it can hunt, it, you can trap any animal in that sort of thing. It's a, like a bear trap thing. <laughs> nice. All right. Yeah. So this cold light walker is going to move up and it's going to target this thug right here. He goes ahead and spend no number one. Yeah. Right. 
rolls it. And... Oh, baby! With a 21 to hit, this guard takes 30 cold damage. Oof. Oh, no. So he, like, goes... "Ah!" And as, like, he tries to, like, start to get a charge going, you just see him goes... And there's just, like, the icicle-blasted form of where that guard was standing. Nope. Oh, crap. So, yeah, he did. Um, okay. My, my mouth just went dry. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what's supposed to happen the first round. <laughs> oh, we're not prepared. Uh, oh, we're not prepared. Oh, crap. Uh, oh, crap. Wait a minute. Oh, crap. <laughs> DM, are we, are, we the wrong, are we the wrong level? I'm not sure. <laughs> Yeah, um, oh, I wanted to check. Oh, no, you did we miss some level ups for this? Like, <laughs> say, remember, remember what I told y'all in the, in the thread earlier today. <laughs> you were serious. Yeah, you, Hi, you fools. <laughs> oh, most definitely. Like, this is gonna be a valuable lesson for this entire game, everybody. Never I'm fight, sure. always run. Yeah, all, there's always you can always. Don't matter what run. it is, goblins, goats, goats <laughs> out for goats. sure, goats. Chickens. pigeons. We're running. <laughs> mm-hmm. Whole thing's just running. It's just it's now Faerun. Faerun. All right. Yeah. So uh, up next is Xander. Uh, <laughs> uh, Suddenly so checking that distance, aren't you? There. You damn right. Uh, <clears throat> I'm gonna yell out, Rune Gums. We are leaving. And then I'm going to pop red again with. Um, Oh, uh, told the dead. Uh, so the DC 13 wisdom save for you, please. All right, all right, all right. Let's see. Let's see if Red actually shows up. Oh. One second. There's like a lull in the music right yeah, that's, there. And I'm just, I'm on the edge of my seat. So I, man. You know, the 11 didn't work last time, and it's not yeah, going to work. Yeah, it absolutely this time. didn't. He, he's uh, really so focused on that trap. Going to take seven. Necrotic, and then Xander is going to bring it on down to Boogie Town back here. But as I'm passing the uh, the the captain, I'm going to say, "Should be a shame if something happened to folks you had in custody." <laughs> and then that's me. Nice, nicely done. All right then. Uh, oh, oh, what? What did you do? Uh, he did a thing. Oh, Lord. All righty. Hold on, friends. He was meant to add seven of them. Yeah, right, right. Hey, we promised errors. We promised. (laughs) uh, Boy, howdy, did I. All right. (laughs) For those who can't see, the turn order just got nuked. Yeah. (laughs) Sitting on zero. (laughs) Zero initially got now. No initiative for you. Let me see here. Uh, guess these guys don't have turns anymore. Bummer. Oh, yeah, yeah, right, right. Just go now, right? <laughs> I know. Run. <laughs> you know that moment. This is this. I now understand why it's so hard to be like a supervillain, because like orchestrating the demise of a group of heroes is a lot harder <laughs> than people really <laughs> give it credit for. Uh. Uh, Zulvana, what was your? It was seven point something, but I was next. I don't think the decimals are going to matter because we are all at different numbers. So if you can just remember the first number, we're good. Absolutely. I was at a five. Yeah. I think you were at a 19, right, Perio? I was. Yeah, that's what I thought. Whoop, 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 Easy. There you go. What? Why are you... Oh, so we were talking earlier tonight about uh, the that moment where, like, Roll Twenty does the thing that you're like, oh, you're magic and full of wonder and yay, and then there's moments where it's just like, and now I hate you. <laughs> Descend it. There we go. And thank the gods. Here we go. Uh, Sweet. Xander just went. Zilvana. All right. Um, can I like grab Rune? to like bring her with me because she's a tiny thing and can't run as fast as me. You absolutely could grab her. It's going to reduce your speed 
to half because you're carrying somebody or at least like dragging them along, which I believe your speed is 30? 30, yeah. And Rune's base speed is 25. So okay. it's, it's one of those things where like, you it's not going to help. This actually in missed opportunities last night. We're like, okay. I'll help you. You'll help me. It's like, no, just run. Everybody just okay. run. Like, okay. Then, <laughs> <laughs> all right. Then I'm going to say, everyone, we're leaving. And so I'm, <laughs> and I'm going to run away to there. I think. I think that was it. I can't actually tell if that was far enough or not. No, that's good. I'm going to say that. That is a good, good run. Good on you. Okay. Okay. All right, all right then. With that, with that being Zolvana's turn, uh, the one thug, seeing his friend uh, brutally murdered in front of him, do, 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 do. We might need a token update on him as well. Absolutely. Oh yeah. No, that was that was one of the many things <laughs> I was attempting to do when the world went away. All right. Uh, all right. So uh, this th thug, seeing that happen, uh, is oh no, immediately going to beat feet, and he's going to go ahead and take his dash five ten. 30. We're currently in the top 10 of D&D Twitch streams, guys. So well done. Oh, that's so Ooh, cute. Nicely what? done. However, uh, the the veteran is going to go ahead and move down towards Rune and try to assist her and be like, oh, hold them off. Sergeants, they're brave. Oh, oh yeah? You're going you're gonna to do that? All yeah, right. yeah. He's going to hold them off? Okay. Hey, what's your wife's name? He's going to... Uh... <laughs> Shame, shame on you. Ouch! Ouch! What? <laughs> Send her my condolences. <laughs> All right, and so we can let her know what happened. Yeah, the scout five ten. She's gonna move back, and then she's gonna uh, again, she's gonna attempt to shoot this walker here. Come on, scout! All right, so with uh, roll the turn. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> crit twenty. That. Is the, the first crit of the day goes to the DM. Good job, me. It doesn't. <laughs> no, you. it doesn't. Oh, my oh, God. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. My rabbit stew is like renowned. I apologize. <laughs> How was, dare you? That now was in all the lands. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it might be that that's why the cold light walkers were coming over. It's like, oh, we heard mm. you got stew. Y'all got that stew. Like, oh, got that stew. stew. All right. <laughs> It's cold out here. We're hungry. Yeah, right. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. All right, come on, come on, come on, come on. All right, so uh, crits. How how crits in uh, combat work for my games is um, I think there's nothing sadder in the world than when you crit and your damage is just sad. And you're like, I did four critical damage. Y'all can eat it. So I like to max out the weapon roll and then allow you to then roll the number for the critical damage. Because typically when you crit, you roll to whatever your weapon die is. So for this wonderful scout that we have here, they have their longbow, uh, which has a 1d8 plus two. So typically for that crit, you're gonna roll 2d8. So I'm gonna have her roll that now. Roll that beautiful damage. And so she did eight total, but I'm actually gonna max that d8 out. So that would be eight plus six friends at home. So that's going to be 14 plus two is 16 damage to that cold light walker. For those of you following the math at home, <clears throat> All right. dig it. So that was a, a mighty hit from that painfully low hit she did earlier. And uh, next one up is none other than, ladies and gentlemen, Tiberius Flynn. Thank you. Uh, yeah, um, I'm going to shoot at the one that's no longer um, or not or the one that that hasn't been caught in the in the rabbit trap. Okay. That one, that one on there. I'm saying, <laughs> that guy. That guy. That one. Ooh, nice. 17. Nice. Uh, uh, nice. Uh, 17 will hit. Nice. Nice. Nine damage to him. Okay, okay. We're looking respectable now. I will hold my position here because I what? think I've got enough to like dash out once everyone gets clear. So I'll stand here mm -hmm. and keep shooting at things. To make uh, sure everyone else can get past me. Yeah. Thank I you. apologize. In all the hullabaloo, I have left my dwarves stranded. So as we go oh, ahead no. and come back to the top of the order, which of course would be Ferio, uh, we're going to go ahead and actually allow these two lovely dwarves to look at the sergeant and go, good on you. And then they're going to move and just run. So. 
Word. 50 gets her there, and then Gums shortly, Gums flapping after her. Oh, Ew. <laughs> <laughs> Gum I'm slapping. Sorry. I'm sorry. Let's be honest, <laughs> friends. This is what you showed up for. All right. so, and now we're back to Fariel. Um, I, like my pal Flynn over here, am going to hold the line and um, stay where I am because I am close enough to get away and just like kind of be ready for everybody to get past. And um, I might as well send another arrow down at that red guy. Thirteen is oh okay. So uh, this is a rule that I like to play on the meet to beat because typically with armor class you do meet to beat, which in thirteen is their AC, which means normally you'd hit and it would go through. Now he was what I like to play is I like to play a roll off for meet to beat, meaning that your AC is actually going to get a chance to defend you on a fourteen. Because I always think that's kind of crap that I have. Four like AC 14. However, it only means that I have actually AC 13 because out of 14, I get hit. So what this means though, is that it also applies to the monsters as well. So with this 13 variable, I need you to roll a D20 and we'll see who goes high or low. Okay. Is he, uh, is the red one restrained, DM? He is restrained. Would it be advantage then? It would not be advantage. Ooh. Though with a 19, he's definitely at a disadvantage for this roll. Let me tell you that. All right. Um, okay. Well, <laughs> you stuck on that. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Woo. Yeah. What was that? I'm gonna write. I'm gonna write a chapter book, and it's gonna call. It's gonna be called <laughs> Nightwalker in a Trap, and it's gonna be 13 <laughs> chapters long. All right. Is he so sharing it with a rabbit? So sure enough, like that shot, like he, you think it, and boom, just hits him. Nicely done. That that's and that's that's nine damage to that walker. Eudemus. I just like Ryan that you call it a chapter book. Yeah. <laughs> Better than a picture book. Can you can you tell I've been looking at kids stuff? <laughs> no. All right, that's me. Cuz all right, that's awesome. All I right. just I just wanted to say, I just thought it ironic earlier though when I was looking for the font and I sent the font out, font over and it was your daughter's name. <laughs> Is it really? Yeah. Oh I my didn't realise it's called Dream of Zelda, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I, sh I sure do. All right, so uh, let's go ahead, get that damage, and uh, Herrick, the cleric, I mean, the warrior. Warrior. He uh, Eric. Eric quickly warrior? slaps his goat ready. Come on, we're going. And jumps on his sleigh. Anyone else getting on? I think it's only a one-man sleigh, but I'm not sure. <laughs> uh, is it an option for us to get on his sleigh? Let me sleigh? check. It might only be like a like a. I mean, it might be a one-man thing. Um, yeah, no. So, so while I like you, uh, you hopping on your goat and trying to run, the idea is that you got to get off the map to do it. So, yeah, like, yeah, imagine yeah. that the, the the caravan is actually over here for the sake of the story. All right. And also, I, okay, I run over there to my goat then. I love it. I run 10, to my goat. 15, 20, 20, so in that last turn, we had uh, Lee uh, slapping his goat, running to his goat. Anything else with the goat? The old slap and run. <laughs> oh, wait, we'll wait for later. <laughs> Eventually, um, he'll get his goat. All right. Womp, womp. I, um, if I could double move, I'll leave the map then. Um, Absolutely. Yeah. I'm saying, if, you, if you dash, no, you know? No, no, he won't. He will go to here and then wait for everyone. All right, all right. So I'll say if you say it's, it's just like in a uh, dodgeball. If you touch the wall, you're safe. So, uh, so Herrick is currently like traveling out. All right, friends. Up next is everyone's favorite, Cold Light Walker. Ooh. All right, gods of ice and snow, let this poor creature go. Oh my God! <laughs> is he still <laughs> in the trap? <laughs> Best trap ever. He he crit failed that. Somehow the trap is now, it, he's actually prone. It's wrapped around his <laughs> legs. So he, he falls flat. Oh my God. He's the most <laughs> inept bad guy ever. Right. Does he take double damage being prone? No, he doesn't take double damage being prone. <laughs> Just checking, seeing how bad he failed. It would right, be funny, this is, we're meant to run, but we go and kill him anyway. Oh. <laughs> You're level eight, guys. Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> Y'all, this is a deadly encounter, and right now it's 
It's starting to look like vaudeville. Deadly right. encounter <laughs> being thwarted by a rabbit trap. <laughs> by a rabbit trap. The one thing I didn't plan for. I know. That was your first mistake. Uh. Here we are in the super dark scary Rhyme of the Frost Maiden. <laughs> you wear rabbit traps. Guess what I'm buying when we get back to town? <laughs> <laughs> Ten of them. Mm -hmm. yeah. Good luck, friend. I've got rabbit traps. Five, ten. Oh, yes. Okay, so uh, oh, no. this pole oh, no. walker oh, no. Who's there? comes up, and he's able to get into range with our, our dear, dear veteran, and he tries to he's going to try to slam him with an attack. Whew. That's a lot of damage. Uh, yeah, that 20. So he, he grabs him, and then, like, you almost see his armor start to frost over where he like this creature touches him and like it the armor doesn't crumple so much as like start to crack from the cold and the ice as if it's literally like being shattered at the molecular level and so it just cracks he takes 13 bludgeoning damage as the creature slams him into the snow with the additional 15 cold he is oh he's still up still up but oh no the doofta that hurt all right, so he's down, and then yeah, creature gets a second attack. Jesus! Oh no! <laughs> God. So well, so check it out. We're probably not under arrest anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Bright side. I still don't oh, want to. Man, oh, sorry. I, so that, the first one was a seven. He gets an advantage because he's prone. Jesus. He gets a twenty-three for the second hit. Ooh, Jesus. So that is an additional 16 damage. Oh, no. Yeah, the veteran's not having a great day. Mm. Sorry you made fun of me earlier. Yeah, right? I'm not I'm not all that sorry. <laughs> I'm not sorry either. I mean, so is he still is he still kicking or is he he's done? He's still kicking. He's Just still a reminder no. to everyone in chat, we are doing a giveaway. Exclamation mark giveaway to join. That includes yeah. the staff members. If you want to win a t-shirt, please go in chat. Exclamation mark giveaway for a chance oh, to Oh, man. I, I totally want oh, that giveaway. Wait, what was I supposed to do? All right, friends. In Twitch chat, exclamation mark giveaway. All right, friends. Up next is Xander. So uh -huh. you, you see this poor guard, just the veteran just slam, and then the creature brings his fist <gasps> down, and like it smashes into his breastplate, and the breastplate, like you hear this, that, that crystal clear crack of like ice. I, I, you know, I mean, there's part of me that's thinking about like a mercy kill here, but I, I just <laughs> feel like that's not the right way to start this campaign. Um, I mean, I'm, I tried to shoot the guy earlier. <laughs> I mean, just, that was a thug. That was a thug. <laughs> I'm, I am out of range on everything and not going to move closer. So I guess I will also get back here with Herrick <sighs> and, uh, Say, I need to run. <laughs> love it, I love it. And I guess that's me. Party, party, doing what the party needs to be doing. I love it. All right, uh, Zilvana. Uh, I want to help, <laughs> but I can't. <laughs> um, God, is there anything that I can do, spell-wise? No, I mean, a healing word, but. I don't know if I'm in range for it, but uh, I don't know if that'll do anything. <laughs> so healing word has a range of, I think, 60 feet, 60 feet. So if you so I'm going to go ahead and uh, so if you go over to the side here, there's this wonderful little ruler uh, ability. Uh, if the, you're which, which side? Oh, sorry, to the left side of your roll 20 screen, there's a okay. little one, two, three, like the fifth icon down. And it's if you the, go ahead, it's and, the fourth for us. It's above the, the, the die roller. Touche. Okay. Fourth down, you Got click those. on your icon, stretch it out. You can go ahead and see just all the ah. kinds of distances that you got. So you're well within the 60 foot range of okay. uh, healing word. Okay. Just remember it, to um, change it back to the arrow when you want to move. Absolutely. Okay. Otherwise you'll just keep measuring things. Um, <laughs> check. All right. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to cast healing word just to see if it'll help. I don't know if it will. And then I'm going to run. Um, so, yeah. What does your healing word sound like? My healing word oh. sounds like <laughs> something <laughs> that I haven't. Your word sound like my healing word. <laughs> <laughs> um, like, 
Check it out, my dude. I know you just took 40 points of damage, but here's six he healing points in return. Hey, hey. Um, so in Celestial, it would be healing slice. Nice. Nice. I just wanted to add to the people that are watching when Ma Madeline sort of joined us. Like, oh, you're singing. You're a singer. What, what, what do you want to play? Oh, I want to play a bard. What? I, I was got excited. I was like, what, a singing bard? She was like, <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Second time playing D and D comes in, starts singing. Congratulations, yeah. well done. No, it's no, you're gonna crush. All right, so go ahead and roll on your spell sheet for healing word. Okay, um, rolling on my spell sheet for healing mm -hmm. word. Mm -hmm. So if you look at your um, character sheet, you should see actions, and then right next to action. Oh, oh, bam! There it is, and he gets eight lovely heals back. Does he notice it? Because that's what we need him to notice. He, he, he. he, he he does like because the, the way healing word works is it sort of travels for, and he hears the the healings that that celestial sound and in fact uh anyone who's nearby also sort of hears that ringing noise and it's just like oh that sounds imagine like flying notes yeah musical right? notes. yeah very yeah. very like disney sort of princess-esque sort of like oh, oh. anyway so yeah <laughs> don't do that again uh, and Let that, do that is going to bring us to the guard. Oh, I'm sorry. That's going to bring us to the guards and the dwarf. Uh, oh, you, wait. I still you... have to move. Yeah. Oh, she I'm sorry. To move. Moving. Um, I don't. Wait. I'm sorry. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So I'm here. Boom. Excellent. Love it. So close. Uh, these, I'm going to say these guards are going to huff it. He's gone. Boom. Uh, other guard is dead. Uh, the dwarves are going to go ahead and 50, get him there. Rune is out and she's gone. Uh, and that brings us down to Tiberius. Cool, 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 cool. Um, I'm going to... It's time to go. <laughs> Hi! I will, I will, I'm going to move back to 30 and I'm going to shoot uh, the cold water again because I'm going to... I'm gonna try and help this guy out just a little bit before we leave him here to die. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Always a mercy kill. I'm just throwing that out there. Oh, yeah. The, yeah. <laughs> Y'all don't know it yet, but the scout's holding an action. So. <laughs> uh. Okay. There. Uh. And. Is that fifteen? Uh. Fifteen. Will hit. Roll that beautiful crossbow damage. Nice. Oh. Nice. Very nice. Oh. Here we go. Nice. Coming in with the ba boom. Look, man, it's not falling down. I'm trying. Yeah. <laughs> I feel a little bit more bad about your situation. You're also still kind of a dick. All right. <laughs> <laughs> we did all we could. Where are the keys to the car? Yeah, right. right. <laughs> all right. And back to. In my pocket. All right. Again. Final round. Again. Just. Um, Following Flynn's lead here, I'm gonna come over here. That's Gums, right? I'll get yep, on the other Gums. side of him, protect old Gums there. And uh, I will also shoot at that uh, Cold Light Walker next to the veteran. Okay. Seventeen is a hit. Go ahead and roll that damage. And uh, you get your sneak attack because there is an enemy in range. Oh shit! Ooh, what did oh, you roll? Coming in with 15. And it's dead. We might as well go back and finish the other one off, guys. <laughs> <laughs> then, we, then we can get back to sleep. No, Lord, no, no, no. Lord, like, I uh, just, if that, oh, if he doesn't. <laughs> All right. Um, so uh, that is a, that's a wonderful turn. And like it, it hits and like it actually, like you see it start to crumple a little bit. Like it definitely, like that blow drove something home for it. Uh, very nicely done, Fariel. Anything else? Um, I'll just shout at him. Run, you fool! <laughs> love it, love it. Herrick, the warrior. Um, yeah, he will just um, be sort of standing there, and I think his goat's, his goat's literally just there on the other side of the map. <laughs> Get it ready. I don't know how many it can carry. I mean, it just says it's a sled. doesn't say anything on it to what it can carry, so... If and anyone in chat knows what a sled can carry, please let me know. Yeah. 
It's like, um, it's yeah, I, I'm not doing. I can't. Up to, yeah, I, 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 there's not really anything he would know he could do. So why, why are we chatting about sleds? Yeah. Mm-hmm. There you go. All right. So he say so. Herrick's <laughs> out. Um. Well, he's just waiting for everyone else. To clear, right, so, so Herrick goes and gets the cart already. So I'll Hopefully. hold my turn. Once everyone's off, then I'll go. Yeah. Okay. Okay. The cold light walker. So first one, dealing with the trap. <laughs> Rolls a seven to get out. Of it. He just That's needs better to... than the one that he rolled last time, though. Like at this, mm. <laughs> so, does he give up and just lay there and pulls out? A cigarette? I mean, mm. Like at this point, he's just he's just kind of like <laughs> he's got to sleep. He's got to say yeah. And he's just just kind of sad and sitting there. Is is the rabbit that was in the trap with him attacking him, or more of like a mope light walker right now? All right, the so killed him. Um, the the, the walker by the veteran is going to go ahead and try to do a slam attack on him. Has the veteran not had his go yet? Uh, you're right. You're absolutely right. I'm so yeah. Yeah. No. No. I say you are correct. The veteran would have had a chance to get up. We don't want him and to die. Move. We really like so, him. So uh, he's going to go ahead and get up from prone position, which is going to cost him half his movement. And then he's going to attempt to. Run away. So he's got 15 feet, 5, 10, 15. And then if he takes if he takes the dash action, would well, that give him the addition? He still has an AO, though. What's that? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. So let's see. Let's. So that. It might be moot, is why. Yeah, so, <laughs> so the walker takes the attack, hits him. Boom, as he gets up, he just like like slams him in the back and he takes Come on, baby. You can you can do it. You can do it. Uh oh. No, you can't. So yeah, as he goes to get up and run, he's like, it's like, oh god, don't leave me. And like the walker just grabs him and like and as you see like it latches onto his back and as he's like, Don't leave me. And he just like freezes in place, and the walker just <laughs> shatters him in two. Oh, yeah, no. that's that's about right. Yeah. Yep. Yep. That's, that's rough. Yeah. Yeah. That's sad. We're gonna start a fund for that man's wife. Um... He never told us her name. <laughs> <laughs> we tried. Oh. We were gonna write her a letter. He was a little preoccupied at the time, you know, in his defense. But... I'll just I'll, I'll just I'll collect the money and I'll get it to her. So. <laughs> Yeah, taking a collection up, that's nice. Insight check. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. All right. Uh, Don't be I'm mad gonna... that I beat you to it. And I'm going to say uh, on that, so the scout was looking to hold her action if he didn't get up and start to run, but seeing that he uh, has perished, uh, she is going to make out. And so uh, at that point, everyone should be able to get off the map, which is going to go ahead and end this combat as everyone flees the day. Ooh. Yikes. Y'all, y'all survived. Rabbit trap MVP. Oh, right, right. You definitely need to get another one of those when we get. Yeah, I, I think it must be built from the roots in uh, Peter's game last night. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> Harrick didn't do anything, but did he? Did he do anything? <laughs> did he, though? Did he, though? Did he yeah, right. But I mean. <laughs> did, sorry, Harrick saved us all. All right, friends. So uh, you make your way up the East Way. Um, with the remains of the two guards, the, the guard visibly shook, and the scout that is remaining, and then of course you've got Rune and Gums as well. They're able to commandeer the carts and head towards Bryn Shander. And here is where we're going to go ahead and take a five-minute bio break to sh- shed some tears for the lost uh, sergeant, and um, <laughs> also say, so stretch your legs, and we'll yeah. see everyone back here in five minutes. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Cold Hard Witch. The adventurers were on the east way traveling towards the town of Bryn Shander when the uh, party that they were with was attacked by two cold light walkers. Basically, uh, frozone blasting undead of the north. And after icicle murdering at least two members of the guards of Bryn Shander, the party fled to the town where they are now safely 
approaching its walls. We go back to them now. All right, friends. So we pull in to the town of Bryn Shander. So uh, as as previously stated, of all the towns, of all the towns in Ten Town, uh, Bryn Shander is what you would consider uh, the bustling metropolis of, uh, of, of this fine ice wind dale. Uh, let me go ahead. Make sure I get some. Trying to make sure I get some decent town music for y'all. So, um, as you approach the town, you notice that it, it is one of the few towns that is almost in, it's entirely enclosed in like a stone wall. Uh, so, of the secure towns, it is most definitely the one to go to. Uh, are we? Can you tell us which side we're coming in on? Looks like there's three entrances. So, you are coming up the east way. So, you are currently approaching the east gate. All right. Well, yes, uh, that would make sense. Yeah, there it is. There, it is. That we, we we try to keep things simple out here in ten towns. Uh, so uh, <laughs> as you go ahead and approach Bryn Shander, uh, some things that you're going to know. Um, it's it's this is the first town that all of you who stopped in to the Dale went to. Like, so y you have if you're either not familiar with it then you at least know it well enough-ish that you're not totally like, what's Bryn Shander? Um, this is the town that everyone visits to. Uh, so uh, it's got, this, in terms of the amenities, perhaps the most amenities of, uh, of most of the towns here. Um, the speaker is uh, Duvesa Shane. She's a, a, she's a good, she's very, very young in terms of the speakers. Usually they, they tend to go for more of a wizened look, but she's the head of the council of speakers here, and she is really, really good at her job. Also, the sheriff in town is a good man as well, which is not something you find in some of the other 10 towns. Um, other uh, other key locations that you would know about is uh, Black Iron Blades. Black Iron Blades is like one of the few like solid bladesmiths, blacksmiths in all of 10 towns. Um, now, to be fair, he's also, because he's in Bryn Shander, he's the first blacksmith that everyone will visit. That is Garn the Hammer, who runs Black Iron Blades with his sister, Elza. And they sell all the, like, the most adventuring supplies that you'll get. So you'll see rations, cold weather gear, ice picks, uh, snowshoes, and they sell them to every wide-eyed, southern wind-smelling... <laughs> Buck who comes into the is like I'm gonna make my fortune and I just got off the bus and I'm here to make my dreams come true. Seriously, seriously. <laughs> so uh, like the jokes about uh, uh, of newcomers who come to the Dale, where the the tagline is always and he was carrying a black iron blade, because while Garn's work is good, it's certainly not inspiring at all. So, but he provides decent blades. Um, those not you, not inspiring as in they're not fancy or they're not super functional. Not not fancy, just you know. But they, but functional. I mean, functional. I feel, like that, I feel like that's important here in Icewind Dale is is function over form. Yeah, yeah, I'll say certainly. But it's sure it's it just gives him. Uh, you, you you'll find a lot of proprietors and people. Uh, just the dozens of Icewind Dale are ex adventurers themselves, and so they themselves have had a fair amount of of fine goods in their hands at one point and so a, a common short sword to them is sort of i don't know so they're, they're trifling that's what you're saying oh absolutely trifling <laughs> to a t uh, uh you would also know of the house of the morning lord which is uh, the local temple to the sun god uh Amanatar. um though morning lord is also the name that applies to the uh the, to, that the Southerners apply to Lathander, the god of the dawn and rebirth, uh, this leads to some contention within the temple. Um, and then, of course, there's the North Look, which is the established, the establishment most frequented by anybody who goes into Bryn Shander. Uh, that is, it's, it's the tavern in town. Any information going into or out of the Dale, you're going to find it at the North Look. And if you can't find it, then you'll find somebody who knows somebody. Who, who who has somebody who is anyway, um, but uh, and of course the uh, the inn's proprietor is a retired sellsword named Scramsax. Uh, he is good-hearted man, uh, and he absolutely understands that uh, an adventuring is not an easy gig, and so oftentimes he'll extend lines of credit to his patrons. Um, uh, however, 
they have to then settle those account and those who try to, as Buddy said, trifle with him, uh, quickly understand that while he is retired, it certainly wasn't because he uh, he d he couldn't handle it anymore. So, uh, all right, friends. So, welcome to Bren Shander. Where would you like to go? Do the do the guards just kind of leave us oh, as we get there? Like, the one guard is visibly shook, and the scout is kind of like, she's literally like kind of helping him come together. She's like, I've, I've got to report to the barracks. Y yeah. I've, I've, I've got to tell his please, wife. Please, please, yes, please give them our our sincerest condolences. We, it was just nothing that could be done. I, I know he was. I know he was a dick. Okay, yeah, I didn't want to say it at first, but... Right, but... He was a good man. Well, and, and even if he wasn't, no one should have to go... Not like that. ...that, that way. That was that was horrific. Yeah. Um, I pat him on the shoulder, tell him to buck up. He'll be fine. I'm a girl. <laughs> <laughs> but okay. That's fine. Rifling in our own party. The <laughs> 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 one is like healing. Oh. Her. Right. <laughs> he tried. Flynn yeah. is gonna laugh at that just as yeah. hard as I did. <laughs> scout <laughs> also. Scout also cracks a little bit of a smile. <laughs> her name. I'm uh, really sorry for your loss. Oh my god, but... is her name Scout? <laughs> no, my name is uh, Fatima. Oh, Fatima. Uh, I'm really sorry for your loss, but. I Will they compensate the trap that I lost, or do I need to buy another one? I'll you buy know, another that, one. That, that trap did save all of us by mm -hmm. by snaring that one. We would all be dead as y'all. Y'all, she's a scout. No ice cubes out there. Y'all, she's a scout. Wait. It, oh, is that what happened? It was stuck in the trap. <laughs> oh, I was meant for the rabbits. Okay. How about this? I'll buy another. Just a, one. It's just a I, question. I, I, I certainly can't reimburse you for the trap, but I won't say anything of your arrest to the guards. Damn. That that sounds that's fair. Yeah, more that seems than fair. Yeah, that does seem <laughs> fair. That's fair. Uh, thank you. Good luck. Yes. Just uh, don't make don't don't make me regret that. And then oh, no, she looks no. at you, Zolvana, and she's like, "I saw that you tried to help him." Thank you. Of course. God's I couldn't. Speak. And then she just turns, grabs her guard friend, starts to walk back off uh, towards the, the barracks. I think we should go buy a trap first, don't you? Should I buy a couple, maybe? <laughs> if we're going to be like, heading out again. Strangely useful. Like, I wouldn't be mad about it. Yeah. No, yeah. Like, uh, it does feed us one. as well. Yes. Correct. No, I'm going to say the most broken item in all of fifth edition is now the trap. <laughs> <laughs> the trap. Can I go buy one, DM? Uh, ap absolutely, you can. Uh, so you would know that the best you, you would know the best place to go ahead and get that sort of adventuring equipment is to go to Black Iron Blades, one bladesmith, blacksmith, and adventuring extraordinaire. Oh, um, I'm going to follow him then. To fantastic. To so Finn, Herrick, heading off to uh, Black Iron. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, I, I don't know that I need anything, but I always like to window shop. I've take, taken good. the gold off already. I want to head to North Look. Okay, Sylvana heads to North Look. Oh yeah, it's about the party. What time is it? Oh, that's so. Uh, the attack happened just at like the dawning hour. So you're kind of in that prime Icewind Dale, uh, what would be considered daytime. Uh, so it's like I would say about 10 a.m. ish now. Uh, from like 10 a.m. to 2 p.m., there's like a soft twilight that just sort of exists throughout the day, which is the closest you get to daylight, um, where everything is just sort of in that like dim haze. But so I'd say you're about it's about 10 o'clock in the morning, having traveled up the east way and gotten into town. Okay. Does that mean does that mean it's kind of a bustle right now, or folks trying to get everything oh, yeah. done yeah, in yeah, a little yeah. bit of day, exactly. or have they kind of acclimated to? No, no. So uh, so in, in terms of like. It, while it is difficult for people to sort of keep track of t days and times, and no one in in 2021 can attest to that, um, 
uh, <laughs> in Icewind Dale, hmm, uh, in Icewind Dale, uh, business must proceed as usual, and so they, they try to kind of go about their day and keep track of it as best they can. And this twilight hour is one of the like where they kind of see the more energy amongst the town because they know that like they've only got this little pocket. All right, so I've got Herrick, uh, Xander, and Flynn heading off to. Black Iron, Zelvana is heading to the North Look, and um, I'll tell the group I've got some business to attend. I'll meet you at the North Look later. Excellent. Thank and you. I'm gonna go look for my friend. That sounds great. All right then. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and start with Herrick, Xander, and Flynn. So you go ahead and. <laughs> but like you're bustling your way through the streets that the, the say windows are opening up people are doing it well windows are opening up and say in the way that like the town is open but no one opens their doors or windows because it's cold as hell outside so uh the town shows signs of life as best that town can uh and you all travel to black iron blades with oh very little difficulty and of course sure enough you get inside and then Flynn. Yes. I need everyone to go ahead and pop their ears off. Secret secrets. Secret Aww. secrets. Your God. Secret secret. Secret. <laughs> All right. Give me a thumbs up when you're good. Oh, you already did. I mean, I'm already. I'm still here. <laughs> Sounds good. All right. So, from inside your head, you hear duck. I drop. And yeah, so I need you to make me a <laughs> dex save roll. Oh, Jesus. Okay, hold on. <laughs> oh, skills are so far away. Skills are so far away. <laughs> Story of my life. All right. Headphones back on? Everyone's back on. I got to figure out a, a system wherein it's like thumbs up is everyone's good. And then. I don't know. We'll work this out. You just get a flashlight and signal to us. <laughs> there it is. Uh, Morse code. Can we do Morse code? All right. Good. Okay. Nice. Okay. So as you walk into the shop, you see a leather rawhide mallet come flying at you. And as it comes, you duck and James Tiberius Flynn, you son of a bitch. Oh, Greg, you're not using my full name here. What did we talk about? Uh, you you were supposed to be helping me by guarding my shipments. I had a whole crew try to come in, and now look about the shop. What do you see? I, I don't see a shipment here. Yeah, you don't see a shipment. Do you want to know why? Uh, Probably because I didn't make it here. It's because your ass wasn't there to protect it. Oh, I was trying to get my ass here to protect this. Look here, we got caught up there was a whole bunch of shit on the road you had to deal with like i don't want to i don't want to hear deal with this oh, now i don't want to hear you tell me about stuff on the road and this that and the other thing it's always excuses with you do you know what i am i got oh. three words i got three words for you i got three words cold white walkers i'll just browse the shelves <laughs> yeah I, i'm 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 gonna go with with herrick and just browse quietly say that and garn just We good? God, protect us. Did you, did, did you see one? Two. Well, well, at least two. We only saw two, but we did hear some. And you're alive to tell the tale? But we ran. Yeah, <laughs> clearly. If you ran here a little faster, you'd have gotten here on time. Hey, look, I'm here I, now. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm glad you're here. And then like suddenly from the back room where you've been hearing a steady ka-ting, 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 and you hear, stop harassing the boy. We've got work to do. Thank you. Thank you. Someone here appreciates me. Glad you're here, Finn. <laughs> Hello, and welcome to Black Iron Blades. <laughs> How can I assist you? I'm looking for another trap, an animal trap. I lost mine against the walkers. <laughs> oh, um, yeah, yeah, no, of, uh, of course, of course, uh, an uh, animal trap. You're, I bought one uh, here about a year ago. Yes, you are, 
You ordered that the uh, you, you had me put in the, the extra locking mechanism, didn't you? Yeah, same again. <laughs> Yes, well, that was an ingenious design, if I do say so myself. Yeah. Uh, of course, it took a dexterous blacksmith such as myself to, uh, you know, wrangle it. But uh, I <laughs> dare say, it was a, uh, it was well done. All right, all right. Um, uh, trap, 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 trap. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, you got money on you, or am I going to be uh, not working for credit? Am I? Well, you can work for credit or free. It's up to you. But yes, I have money. Oh, look. oh, good, good. I, I like money. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Two gold like last time, yes? Uh, well, uh, now, that extra mechanism, it, it doesn't come cheap. And the standard price for these is five gold, my friend. Well, but the mechanism did save Flynn's life. So, I mean, surely that's that's worth a little a little help. Just a little help. A little, a little, a little help. True. Well, what he it, says, yes. It did save Flynn's life. However, Flynn was also late. Getting take it from my cut. Just, just take it from my cut. Oh, I like Very well then. Mm -hmm. uh, it'll be two gold for the gentleman then, and I'll take the remainder out of Flynn's cut. It is good to see you. You too. You all right? Been better. Cold, yeah. <laughs> okay. A day with a cold walker, friend. That is no easy day. All right. So Flynn, he makes a, a note in his uh, in his ledger. Flynn. Sorry, all the pounding of the metal just sort of rams the numbers right out of your skull. Uh, all right, three go. All right. Um, I should have one in the back. I'll need a, a few moments to uh, to rework the mechanism if you don't mind. Yes, that's fine, yes. All right, lovely. Uh, anything else for you, friend? Xander. Oh, sorry, he looks to Xander. <laughs> sorry. DM. Uh, Xander. <laughs> uh, no, I, I'm currently just, just browsing, uh, seeing seeing what my options are. Mm -hmm. And Flynn? Do you have a message for me? Message for <laughs> I, I'm going to turn to Herrick and under my breath say, I feel like they delivered the message quite. <laughs> oh, yeah, strongly. no, the message was on my rawhide mallet. It was get here sooner next time. Oh, okay. Well, I'm I'm here now. Um, All right. You saw that. Well, then you can go ahead and travel to the North Look and uh, search for. Hang on a second. Let me check the. That's uh, uh, three. Three shield dwarves, uh, the battle hammer clan. Uh, you, you know, foaming, they got the foaming mugs. Right. Um, you're looking for uh, a lady named Haruna, uh, Korax, and Storn. That, that's the group. They'll have the, the details of where the shipment was. And then hopefully you can get it back to me and I can get back to doing my business. Oh, but right, you're trapped. You're trapped. Herrick, er, <laughs> Herrick, <laughs> you, that's you. Uh, Garn. Uh, wanders off into the back uh and about the shop you it I, like you see a, the assortment of like your typical simple martial weapons uh there you know it's it's nice mostly bladed stuff nothing that looks too fancy if it's like got a straight edge to it he definitely knows how to make it uh anything beyond that mm, okay um so flynn it, it seems as though you're quite familiar uh with this establishment yeah, uh, I, I I work on a freelancer type basis, and this is where I get most of my work. Very nice. You know, you you, you gotta you gotta make friends with the with the locals when you can. Oh, you you tell me. You have no idea how many roofs I've patched, and let's let's. Yes, you're exactly right. You know, see, you know, he wasn't mad because if he was really mad, that would have been a spear and not a hammer. He was just that's just plain, plain. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, <laughs> I always get mallets thrown at me when folks aren't mad, but sure, that's a quite common, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. All right, Doran comes back and he's got the trap. Ah, ah, ah. Look at that. Oh, it's beautiful. Yes. Oh, she's, she is a beaut, isn't she? It's like my own child. Hopefully Love. I won't catch a white walker next time and more so, so, more game and well, rabbits. Are you kidding me? I'm going to use that in my, mar in my uh, marketing right now. White walker trap. <laughs> it's that fantastic. works. Yeah. yeah. Um, there you are. Uh, He's probably still there. You can go and have a look. <laughs> 
But when last we saw, the trap was on top of the walker. He was having a bad a bad go of it. So no, he gave up. He was having yeah. a sleep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, troubling that they'd be so close to town. Well, anyway, um, off to the north. Look with you, unless you have anything else you wish to buy. Nope, nope. I'm good for now. Uh, all right. Um, if if you need anything, bolts and the like, let me know before you you, you head out. Uh, I'm happy to keep you resupplied. Oh, absolutely. Keep safe in order to deliver my shipments, mind you. Of course. Just a just a, a quick a question. You said it's strange that they're this close to the town. Is there something that maybe would be drawing them in, or? Well. I don't, I don't put much stock in some of the, the stranger folk who wander around here. I'm going to look around at, at the three of us. <laughs> <laughs> I could probably fit quite well in. There's a lot to Yeah, right, right, right. But uh, anytime I've heard mention of them, it's always been out on the tundra, as if someone sees them in the distance like a, like a, like a lantern in the night. The fact that they are so close to the town... How would how would they have gotten here? Have, have they never been this close before? Well, they've got not, legs. Not 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 if by any account that I've heard. What's that, Flynn? <laughs> so walk is in the name. That's how they were. That's and they, they have legs. Here. So yeah, that could be in the clues. Huh? Hmm. We'll I'm leave. gonna go. I'm gonna. I'm gonna <laughs> we'll <laughs> just go. Have a good well, day, uh, Flynn. Flynn. <laughs> yes. Before you go, mm-hmm. be careful. There are some who say that. Those creatures are the will of the Frost Maiden. So if they're spotted that close to town, just don't piss off any more people than you usually do. In fact, Ooh. try to piss off less. Come on. You know I can't promise that. Just try. I'll try. I'll try. If you get killed, Elza will never forgive me. No, no, she won't. I won't! <laughs> All right, go on, get out of here. All right, all right, all right. Bye, Elza. Hi, uh, thank, thank you. Thank you. I, sh- I, right. sure, I sure awesome. we can still piss people off. And the three of you, I imagine, are heading off yeah. to the north look. Yes. yes. All right, dig it. So now let's go ahead and go to Fairyel. So, Fairyel, where are you traveling to on this fine day? Uh, my best guess for where uh, my friend would like to meet up. Mm. I have an I, I have an idea as to where your friend would be. You, you say, you want to let me know? Um, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you received a note from her that said, We will talk in the morning, my lord. So. Yes. <laughs> where do you deduce that would take you? I don't know. That's why I said I'm going to my best guess. <laughs> that's fair. That's fair. So looking around at the at the, uh, the buildings in the town, you notice that there is, in fact, a temple of the morning. Hmm. Oh. Lord. Uh-huh. Your I just want to say I was so proud of myself that I got that. <laughs> Cuz I'm usually shit at that sort of thing. No, no, it, it, you know what? There this is this is the fun part of of playing DM is like oh, they'll get this clue. It'll be a really good clue and then like you'll write the clue and then they'll be, and, like no one in the party will get it. Yeah. Like, like what? Mm. I should Okay. And then like the thing that you're like they'll never guess this. There's no way that there's no way they'll use a trap on this monster. I mean, Fairyel knew, I just didn't know, okay? Lovely, lovely. All right, friends. So uh, for the remainder of this talk, I'm going to go ahead and have everyone else. Secret Ooh. secrets. So, Fairyel, you go ahead and head into the House of the Morning Lord. Uh, and as you walk in, it's it's... You know, in terms of a temple uh, for Icewind Dale, it, it's nice. Like, it, it, you, it's at least warm and pleasant. And then, sure enough, uh, not but a few moments into you walking in, you see a tall cleric who approaches you. 
to you. She says, greetings. My name is Michan. How may I help you? I seek a friend. Well, all are welcome in the house of Amanator. Who is your friend? Um, she goes by a few names. Um, Eldora, perhaps. Eldora. I'm, I am sorry. Uh, I don't know of anyone by that name. Uh, and they certainly don't. So if you're in the temple, it, it, is, it is myself and <clears throat> the acolyte of Lathander, who currently reside here and watch over the temple. Um, perhaps your friend will be here uh, sometime later. Uh, do you have a message that uh, you wish for me to give her? Um, I, if it's all right, I might just wander for a bit, enjoy oh, the temple. Of course, if I can be of any other assistance, please let me know. Thank you. And then, so you wander about the temple. Yeah. Mm, so it's, um, keeping my eyes peeled. Yeah, yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Boom. Suddenly, from out behind one of the columns in the pews, you see her. She shuffles over to you. Arms, arms for the poor. Um, I'll toss a gold in her bowl. Oh, bless you. Such a kind, kind soul. It took you long enough to get here. Look, there were some complications on the road. What part of the morning do you not understand? What part of cold light things do you not understand? Oh. oh, we have much bigger problems than cold light walkers. Bigger problems than that? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. Are you alone? Yes. Good. Can I make a perception check just to see if anybody's like paying attention? Absolutely, you can. Please and do. I don't know why it's rolling like that. Yeah. Are you so it, I don't know if it's got you so I'll I'll take the high end of that one because that's just because I'm not clicking anything. Are you holding down shift or anything like no. that? No. Oh, okay. All right. So you rolled an 18 for that perception, and sure enough, it is just currently Michan in the temple and then uh Veldora, who is currently there. And she says, Don't worry, there's no one else here. We're fine. That's one of the reasons why I picked this place. Yeah. I mean All right. So are you ready? Yeah. Spies tell me, the haven to the east is none at all. Beware spying danger when Z shadows fall. Sorry. <laughs> no worries. No worries. I'm sure you can get that to me again later, but I just wanted to at least Oh, get... absolutely. In fact, I'll, I'll go ahead and send it to you in the chat so you got it. It's a so. bit down. All right. Anything to report to me? Um, nothing right now. The mm -hmm. journey was a bit, um... Chilly? Yes, and things, you know, cold light walkers and all mm -hmm. didn't go as planned, but I'm here now. Yeah. You're here now, so good luck. And also, if you plan to head out, make sure you've got some muscle with you. Yeah, hey, there's been a couple of murders. You know anything about that? Oh, yes. That, uh, that the dwarf from this town. Yeah, and two others, apparently. Ice to the heart. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. The icicle, yes, you know of it. Yeah. Good, good. Nice to see you've been keeping your ear to the ground. Hey. Um, I haven't heard anything of it yet, though someone told me the, the outer fringes were the ones to take a look at, perhaps a, a Duggan's Hole or a... a uh, Kerr Koenig, uh, those are the two more, more outer reaches. If there's anyone nefarious strolling about, they would definitely try to pull back to those areas. Gotcha. So, Looks like I'm going to be uh, hanging out with the ragtag group I 
met up with on the road for a little bit. Well, that's good. That's good. Investigating these murders and such, you know. Well, look at you're training to quite the do-gooder. Well, you know, you got to make friends so that you can use them, right? Well, I mean, right? <laughs> all right. Uh, all right. Take care of yourself, and uh, I'll send a bird if I need yeah. you. Yeah, be in touch. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She very quickly sort of shuffles off into the shadows and alms, alms for the poor. She wanders away. Now I'll head to the north look. All right. Sounds good. Well, I guess we know who has the longest secret. Mm. <laughs> oh, just you wait. Right. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> the, the longest secret is me because I have to keep talking. All right. Uh, no. All right. So, uh, and last but certainly never least is Zalvana. Zalvana, you go ahead and head straight for the North Look because you know that if there's any information, it's to be had. Plus also scramble sacks ain't bad to look at. Yeah. So uh, as you go ahead and head towards the uh, the North Look, um, mm. it, is, as, it is as it always is, just a nice sort of rousing tavern. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and kill the music there because that's silly um Ooh. and uh as, as you walk in uh you, you've got various groups sort of huddled around their tables having their drinks and whatnot as uh, being the bard that you are are you inspired to do anything <laughs> i knew you were gonna say that um well <laughs> not yet <laughs> 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 I'm inspired to play it cool. All right. yeah. I like it. I like it. I'm gonna I'm gonna just take a look around really quick and then see like, you know, just just who exactly is all there. And if uh how do you say his name is? Scram Scram Sacks. Scram Sacks. Immediately eyeballs you and says, Zolvana Orun as I live and breathe. By God, this is a beautiful day in Bryn Shander. How are you doing? Oh, I'm great. It's so good to see you. Oh, it's, you it's even better seeing you. Oh, what you. brings your beautiful, wrapped up face into my tavern? Well, you know, just in for the local gossip. Oh. Just, uh, you know, seeing what's what news is coming here and there. Gossip? I in know. my establishment? Never. I never. wouldn't dare. I was oh. like, hurt. Wounded oh. to the quick. What if I sing a cute melody for you oh i will take any any melody from you cute or otherwise you go right ahead <laughs> hey hey you slovenly bunch listen up we got some talent over here i warmed him up for you oh thank you La I mean this in the most polite way possible. Every time you sing, it reminds me of my mother. <laughs> she brings a tear to my eye. Thank you, thank you. Oh, can't cry in front of the patrons. Oh, it's all right. right. What do you want? What it's do you okay. need? You, you've worn down my old heart. Oh. So, just looking to hear any uh, any news, any any tidbits of interesting information oh. that you may have for me. We, oh. uh, I had an interesting. Uh, journey here. We were actually a uh, small group of us anyway. We're kind of attacked by some cold white walkers. Cold night walkers? Cold white light walk walkers? Cold, yes. <laughs> cold white walker. Cold, cold white, white walker. <laughs> hash slinging slasher. The trash slinging <laughs> masher. That yeah, exactly. exactly. <laughs> uh, two white thing. claws just came out of <laughs> Two white claws. <laughs> two white claws. 
Someone slang two white claws at us. No, a white Marvel. claw walker is a very different person. <laughs> oh, they wear like the whole other beast. And Ugg boots. It's a thing. <laughs> Those Ugg boots and a lot of, you know, fizz. Dear God. Oh my God, guys. Stop. Uh, oh, no, that's the end boss. <laughs> there, yeah, right. I'm going to say roll for initiative. <laughs> oh my God. Just All like right, that. friends. Uh, no. Uh, so, uh, Scam Sex, like, Oh, well then, all right, tit for tat. So, Zalvana, go ahead and roll me a d10. Oh, just a random d10? Good old, good old d10. All right, all right. Six. <clears throat> all right, so he gestures you close and says, rumor has it, local militia in East Haven Called an evil wizard. Yeah, yeah, apparently the guy had uh, toasted an entire band of parties, which would be the exact opposite of those cold light walkers you ran into. But no, <laughs> nevertheless, a bad fella. Thankfully, the militia burned him at the stake. Oh, wow. Word around the, no the north look is, is that the captain there, uh, uh, Indra something, is looking for a capable group of people for a thing which may or may not be related to the event. So uh, uh, hopefully that's a, that's worth your interest uh, if you're uh, looking for something to do, but please stay safe. Uh, I couldn't stand the thought of you getting caught in a fireball. Of course not. No. It's okay. I can just catch it and throw it back. That's right. Damn. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, and uh, anything else I can help you with? No, I think that's it for right now. Unless you can hook me up with some food and drink. <laughs> of course. As long as you sing again. Uh, maybe. Just maybe. <laughs> All right. And as you uh, as you go ahead and tease him with an encore, uh, he'll go ahead and, and lay down some food and drink. And... Uh... Yay! <laughs> this is my most favorite thing, having the bard that actually has musical talent. Ugh. Lovely. All right. So uh, uh, that being you want to be careful there. Oh, is it your too wife is playing a bard. <laughs> <laughs> First off, man, Tessa laid down a sonnet the other day in a game, like a, a legit sonnet, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. That woman, if she wasn't already having my baby. I would want her to have my baby. Like, <laughs> so Me damn too. good. All right. Um, but it's about that time that Flynn, Herrick, Xander, and Bariel uh, seem to sort of coalesce on the streets. And as you go ahead and get to the, the streets outside the North Look, a very squat, bundled up looking little cloth comes <clears throat> Well met. I'm Haruna. Uh, uh, it's, uh, and these are my friends, uh, Karuks and Storn. You look like a group of adventurers. Can you help us out? I think uh, I'm looking for you. <laughs> well, you're you're looking for me? Yeah. Well, I well I'm looking for you. Okay. Well, we found each other. Well, that's that's great. So 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 then you know all about my situation. Uh, I don't know about your situation. All I know is I got word to find uh, three of y'all, and here you are. The names match. No, your name's match. No, your your name's match. I'm I no my name's my name's Runa. Good lord. Well, why, why don't we step in uh <laughs> cold into the, the tavern here and, and we'll all have a drink and uh It's a good tavern, a good good ale. Excellent. Uh and then as the <laughs> so then as the three of you start she they all they all nod their heads, crooks and storm. Crooks just kinda you know, like I that see the storm, ghost. Yeah, storm keeps looking over his shoulder as if he's constantly seeing something that isn't there. And Haruna <clears throat> clears her throat when she gets inside. Says, I'm so sorry. Oh, oh, this cold weather. It's fine. We can go inside. You can buy us a drink. Oh, uh, I, yeah, I, I, that, that, that could do. That could do. So she looks to Flynn. You said you were looking for us. Yeah. Uh, Garn sent me something about his shipment. Okay. Yes. So you, you know about it then. Look, 
were the survivors of a group of dwarves. We were delivering the sled of, of iron ingots to Bryn Shander. A Yeti surprised us and killed a member of our group. We, we fled back to here as the damn thing to our Ukbok limb to limb. Now we need someone to, to go back to the sled and get it and for get us. your iron from, from, a, from a Yeti. Right, right, from the Yeti. Well, I imagine the Yeti's not going to be interested much in the iron. Ukbok took care of that. But look, I, the friendship of the dwarves is not a thing to be passed apart in, 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 in these hard times. And, and you'll need snowshoes if, if you're going to make the trip. Plus, my, my friends and I, we, we, we can pay you. Oh. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Where? How far out? How far out from town is your is your sled? Oh, we are about uh, halfway between here and uh, Calvin's Carn. So all of you know that Calvin's Carn is like the big mountain that sort of uh, dominates the Ten Towns region. Basically, it's the one, so the one like landmark that no matter where you're at, you can pretty much always see Kelvin's Carn. It's a giant mountain that's towards the the back of the Ten Towns region. Oh. And and about how far time wise away travel is that? So timeline to get to Kelvin's Carn is. Uh, depending upon whether or not you guys are going to be traveling, uh, are you going to be taking the cart? Now, take keep in mind that this is not roads you're traveling on. This is going to be, you know, snow. So the cart, it, it might need some adjustments in terms of uh, trekking across the ice. Well, mine, mine works okay. What's that? Mine works okay. I've got a sled. He's got a sled. Oh, yeah. brilliant. Brilliant. Okay, then. Uh, so have we got a cart between here. us, have we? Did we steal the guards' cart? <laughs> no, the guards' cart went with the guards. Okay, now, okay. Then, then yeah, yeah. Herrick, Herrick still has, has his sled. Oh, yeah, I've got Herrick a sled. still has his goat sled, so that's always good. Um, and you, you do know that you're able to sort of hire out a, a dog sled if you want to sort of cut your time in half. Uh, it is, or you can also try to find an axe beak, which in Bryn Shander you, you could try to find one, but in terms of price. You know, like you're now cutting into the funds that you are looking to make. So, right. Um, but uh, it is going to be, it's about a, a 12 hour trek to, to get back out to, if it's halfway between, it's about a day's travel straight line, a couple days travel maybe to Kelvin's car. And so if it's halfway, if it's still halfway, it's going to be about a, a day's travel to get out there. Okay. Uh, how much are we talking? Because, Whatever the number is, that you need to double it because there's walkers around. What? what? We've just seen two. Yes. Oh. Trap, you... Trapped one, and uh, and then took the took the piss out of another one. But, oh, uh, you'll not find any walkers in that close to Calvin's car, not with the dwarves. But you know, that's what everyone said that's about. Keep, you're, you're, not gonna, that. you're not going to find walkers that all close right, to Calvin's right, car. Right, right. I, I hear you, and and the risk is is great. And on top of that, the. the the loss would just be too much. So, all, all right, I, I, she she sitting like leans over and starts talking. Well, I don't know. We yeah okay. <clears throat> all right, um, we're prepared to offer you uh, these six bloodstones. Uh, they should oh. be about uh, oh. fifty gold each. Well, let me let me have Jesus. a look at them. Will, will that be enough? Uh, do I obviously? Uh, do I know? A lot about bloodstones. So, uh, with your, you, you, you're definitely intrigued that she's offering you a gemstone, Herrick. Uh, and in terms of bloodstones, uh, we can chat about what the, the properties of that would do. But oh, I love it's a pretty stone. Yes. And does she show them more? She yeah. She, she's like she holds them out in her hand, oh. and so like you kind of see them sort of twinkling a little bit. Oh, they're real. They're very nice. Very yeah, nice. No, no, they're. They're, they're, oh, mind with our very own hands, but, but you, you, you need to take the job if you're. Oh yes, oh for the, for, oh for the stones, yes, that's that makes a good deal. All right, all right. So, uh, my companions and I will stay here in the north. Look, and um, and then if you go out, get the sled, bring it back here, deliver it to Black Iron Blades. I, I'll, I'll happily pay you uh, and. Uh, you will need travel as well. I'm guessing or? we're going to need some more animals. Um, my goat called Ethelflaed, um <laughs> she will only carry one cart. 
I love that so much. <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. You can't, right. you can't take the big out of her name, which is she'll butt you. <laughs> oh, man. And her friends will cut you. <laughs> that's canon now. That is... <laughs> oh, the goat's name is Athelflaed. Jeez. Oh, my God. Oh. oh, well, now I have a vested interest in keeping that goat alive. Damn you, Herrick. <laughs> all right. We need some armor for that goat. All right, all right. So uh, the six bloodstones, and then um, I can offer you... I, I can offer you some help in, in gathering up uh, some traveling supplies. Uh, well, how, many, how much would you need? How, how many can your sled carry? Oh, lots. Ethel Flack can carry lots. It's fine. That's a fine um, carry. How, 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 how much are we talking about in, in, in ingots? Because I don't know that Ethel Flack can can pull a sled and a sled full of ingots. Yeah, right, right. So with uh, let's see, we've got the, the ingots themselves. So uh, as you sit down and talk it over with the dwarves, they are sitting here going, ah. Uh, well, that's going to be about. You're looking at uh, the sled itself weighs about 300 pounds, and then the iron ingots uh, add about 600 pounds on top of that. So you're looking at 900 ish pounds total dragging that sled. Now, keep in mind that, like, once you get to the sled, you then have to have something pull the sled. So that, like, wow. Oh, you're, you're muted, Jay. No, that's what I was thinking. That's what I was saying. Are you <laughs> supplying animals, or do we need to get animals? Uh, well, if, uh, if if you've got the goat, we could... I mean... Well, I, I don't know that we're looking to keep any travel animals. It would be more of a... A well, rental? A, bar, a, bar, a borrow <laughs> situation. You know what? I we, we can go ahead and, and, and talk to some of our friends here in town and see if we're able to... Uh, uh, scrounge up an axe beak for you or something to, to transport the, the animal uh, if, that, <clears throat> if that's amenable to you or, or we could try to get some dogs probably the axe beak if we're carrying that big of a load i'm thinking all right all right all right so uh axe beak um that would hopefully scare off any smaller predators as well one would hope well i mean hopefully you'll well you, you <clears throat> lot seem like a capable bunch so uh, all right so uh We'll, we'll get the axe break, uh, uh, bring it here. Uh, will you be staying the night at the inn? Oh, yes, of course, yes. I've already got a room here. And sure. So we'll find you here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. Excellent. Yeah. Here. I'm sorry. I, I was trying to do math in my head. It's like it's 10 o'clock. It's 12 <laughs> hours out. So oh. the trip to Black Iron Blades has gotten you guys to about like the afternoon. So you're, you're looking at like 3, 4 o'clock-ish is where you're at right about now. So oh, yeah, I think we don't want to take a twelve hour <laughs> trip out. I'm gonna recommend you don't wander out in the dark. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's no. always dark, Ryan. That, yeah, that's why I'm recommending you don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So uh gonna spend the night here in the tavern? Yes. Are we looking for someone in here, aren't we? Well, uh, so we were looking for uh, the, in yeah, here. the Oh, well, we were looking for these three, but yeah. So the, well, the we've also what about the murders. Yeah, yeah, we got some questions to ask around about. Oh, questions, questions. All right, mm. all right. So uh, as as you all agree that so if the dwarves are once again going to make sure that you guys are, are going to be here tonight, and they'll they'll come back for the evening with your animal, and then hopefully in the morning you can head out. Uh, they're not bringing the XP here. They're gonna stable it nearby I hope. well there, there oh, will no, be they, a, there, there <laughs> will be to the up, middle of the inn that's to pay an upcharge to, to have an axe beat sleep overnight i mean so, <laughs> so as i mean as you walk about the town like you, you've seen axe beaks sort of like roped up outside of places like a la old western towny sort yeah, of bit common animals around here aren't they? yeah i mean they're, they're 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 riding animals so while it seems strange to anyone who hasn't been in the Dale very long, because the rest of you have been here for a while, like a mounted axe beak is just like, of course. Mm. Why okay. wouldn't you? Fair mm. point. Quite. Shallow and pedantic. <laughs> <laughs> yes, shallow and pedantic. All right. So uh, the doors yet again, double check to make sure that you're going to be there. And then they shuffle out the door and, and head out, um, leaving you uh, for the night in the North Look. Anything else, oh party of mine, that you wish to do? 
Um, well, we walk in the inn, I suppose. And, uh... All right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So you're in the inn. Scramasax, I say, waves over to you. He recognizes you, Herrick. Herrick, good to see you, old man. How you doing? I'm not that old, but uh, um, yeah. So well, have some owl, please. There's the gray uh... in your beard, friend. Look at you. Oh, that's just the snow. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and dust that. <laughs> Oh, it's not coming off. I don't know what's happening there. Oh, I've eaten already. I don't. Okay. Um, <laughs> yes, we'll have some drinks at a table. Oh, Absolutely. Uh, Wait. Oh, friends of yours? Oh, acquaintances. I won't say we're. Well, bless my soul. I never thought I'd see the day when Herrick, the warrior, would uh, would come in here making friends. That's that's good to see. I'm glad Did... to see you making friends. Do, do any of us pick up on his air quotes on that? Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Air, air quote is a form of, um, uh, it's a lesser form of the thieves can't. So. <laughs> Even Harrod's confused by it. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, so uh, he goes ahead and brings over the, the, the tray of food and uh, and drinks for you. Uh, should I put that on your tab herrick oh, yeah. or uh oh thank you <laughs> you are kind yes uh, uh, well, i'm looking right. for work uh, oh well found work actually yeah. Found work. Yeah. oh really those dwarves outside yeah oh thank goodness oh thank the gods oh, those, this, those... i look around behind me well they said they were going to come in and buy us a drink but uh... oh well. so maybe this first round goes on their tab because they were going to buy us a drink well now they haven't opened up a tab yet friend so oh by the way scram a sex nice to meet you uh, Xander still missed. How are you? Xander, oh, pleasure. Xander. And I say, welcome to the North Look. Best damn in in Bryn Shander. Of course, I think it's the only damn in in Bryn Shander, at least the one, the only one that counts. So, uh, all right, putting it on Herrick's tab then. And then when your friends come back, I'll uh, I'll see if they can't square around with them. All right. The usual? Yes. Will do, will do. All right. Everybody except Buddy. Oh no! Oh, here we go! <laughs> oh no! I have no idea what this means. All right, Budsky, roll me a perception check. Uh, do I have perception? Sixteen. Ah, oh, okay. With a sixteen, that familial pull that you were feeling. As you mm. had been traveling towards Bryn Shander, that thing that drew you to Bryn Shander had like had somehow drawn you to this place, the North Look. But the minute you got inside, the noise of the tavern and just the sort of the bustle of it, like it, it's almost as if the signal got scattered. Like it just, like it's there, but it's like it's kind of you hidden can't. kind of a, an undercurrent yeah exactly like it's there but you can't quite get a beat on it and you think maybe if like you sit and sort of like really try to focus on it you might be able to get a, a, a deed on a, a little bead on it but other than that like it's just it's white noise in the back of your ear the whole time is it is it something that i could kind of sit and concentrate on but st still be at the table with everyone you, yeah you can still be at the table with everyone uh like you know kind of <laughs> yeah yeah like but it, like if you want to take this this evening time to sort of focus on it i'll let you uh I'll let you roll on that again okay yeah I, I will do that i will i will try to to hold back my engagements and and be friendly and all but to really kind of look and try to suss out exactly what's going on excellent actually so you go ahead and take your time and you're huh, yeah it's great yeah and i will endeavor to actually do that on all right, cool. <laughs> the now, game as well <laughs> roll with advantage, your perception check. And advantage is shift. shift. Yep. Should see a green plus. Yeah, you'd think so. All right. There it is. Boom. Boom. Baby, uh, that is it. Yeah, so I rolled a, a 10 and a 24. That is awesome. Um, you are feeling like just like it suddenly comes to you from above the bar you're drawn to this giant looking knuckle-headed trout all right uh 
before we do anything, I just want to say a massive thank you to Snake Spinner, who has come in and donated $5. So if you haven't got inspiration, please roll a D20 for inspiration. So thank you very much, Snake Spinner. And thank you for renewing your sub. Much appreciated. Woo! That might be me as the only one without inspiration. I don't think... Matt I don't have anything. inspiration yeah. either. Roll off. <laughs> oh, oh I, I'm sorry. I, I thought you got it earlier. Then we, nope. we shall roll. Oops. Oh. Oh. Savannah comes oh. in with an 18, waiting for Buddy, oh. and Buddy comes in with a 13, oh. 13. and the winner oh. is clearly a Savannah. Yay! So the next one is mine, Please. unless one of you spins yours first. Uh, unless one of you uses the inspiration to somehow. But, all right. All right. Thank so, you very much, Snake Spinner. Much yes, thank, thank you. you. Thank, thank you. you. Yeah, seriously. Like, y'all have like stocked up on your inspirations this game. And, and yeah. to be fair, I'm guilty of that too. Need to start so just remember, Mad uh, Madeline, you just need to tick the little thing, and then that's it. I, I think I did. Oh, you done it? Thank cool. you. Nice one. All right, dig it. So uh, you you guys, you, so you sit down, you have a wonderful evening meal, and like uh, the the North Look is chock full of mercenaries and cutthroats, but by God, it's it's almost like that bar in Tangled, where like I've got a dream, <laughs> I've got a dream. Yeah. No, so, uh, but no, it's it's like they're all. They're adventuring folk, but none of these people are looking to stab you in the back. All right. So, uh, yeah. And so your evening passes. And oh, do we, do we uh, want to ask for murderers? Further, or shall you bed well, we want to ask around for murderers, don't we? Yeah. Yeah. Some murderers. All right. All right. Murderers. Go ahead. Yeah. Uh, has, has anyone else uh, want to share any details on murders? All right. So we murderers. Got murderous bunch they are. Murderers. Mm. Everyone looking for murderers. Well, I mean, it seems like the, since this is Scrimsack's place, I don't maybe scrim. we... Scrimsack's? All right. Uh, grim, so, Grim. Come on. What? How can I help you? We're looking for murderers. <laughs> well, uh, what, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't admit <laughs> it in the city council, but, uh... Oh. Hi. Oh, we've been <laughs> asked to ask... Um... What was the dwarf? I couldn't. I wasn't paying much attention to her. What was she saying? She was talking about a number of people being. You talking about the cold-hearted killer stabbed oh, through the, the heart? Yes, the cold-hearted exactly. killer. I was, cooking, I was cooking at the time. You know what I like when I get cooking. No, no, that wait, wait. You can cook. Oh my god! You should have had this oh, best it was... rabbit stew. Are you so good? Are you looking for a job, Herrick? Oh, wait. Well. You've been living under my roof this entire time. You never once cooked for me. Well, you know, you never, you were never asked. I was you know, looking for other stuff. You know, I, was... I have fed you my food every time. Now, granted, you paid for it, but how, how are you not? You wound me. I'm wounded. I can <laughs> cook for you. All right. Well, then get in the kitchen. Start cooking. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to the cooking. <laughs> <laughs> Picks up a random apron. Here. Okay. Give me that. I didn't, think, I didn't think he'd actually do it. <laughs> it's okay. All right. All right. But cold-hearted killer. Yeah. 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 No. I so say he he just struck this town about three days ago. Um. Yeah. Ice pick. Right through the heart. Well, ice coal. They say. But. Uh, do you know uh, anyone by the name of Seraphic? Seraphic. Selfic. 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 Yeah. Travels around with the um. Torga? Tortuga? Tortuga? Torga. Yes. That's the one. That's mm -hmm. the one. Yeah. No, no. Uh they they were they were just in town. Why why are you looking for them? Well no we, reason. Yeah. We, uh, we, we've we heard have a lead they, on him. Yeah, that they may have, have heard a few things. So we're oh, just okay, to... okay. Well uh, hey, let me so well, they might be able to help us figure out what's going on with these murders. All right. Well, I know you just came from that direction. There's not much oh, in these cupboards. On, but I would. <laughs> I, I heard them say uh, East Haven was where they were heading next. But <sighs> okay, of course. Well, he's got some nice eyes. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I don't mean to pass on bad news, making it worse. But no looks worries. like you're uh, you're headed back east, friends. Was yeah. he in between towns, right? What's that? Was he in between towns, right? Sorry. Uh, now, so you've got Bryn Shander, you take the East Way, and East Way runs smack into East Haven. Can't miss it. Um, if you deviate south, you might be able to hit 
Good Mead or Duggan's Hole. Uh, and then to the north, you got the Cares, Care Dineval and Care Conig. But uh, but biggest biggest town on the east side is uh, is East Haven. So. Okay. Did you see Sethic at all? <laughs> no. Weirdly enough, he never sets foot in this bar. I don't know what it is. Hmm. Okay. Just, you got nothing in the just wondering if you uh, knew if, just trying to confirm anyway, if he was dressed a little, you know, funny. No, the only thing people ever tell me about that guy is he's got brilliant blue eyes. That's about it. Makes me jealous a little bit, especially the way some people talk about him. But um, but I knew you would never say something like that, right, Zalvana? Oh, never. Oh, that warms me. That'll, that'll warm me in the darkest of coldest nights. Oh. All right, anything else I can do you for? No, I think that's it. Well, I'm Anybody happy else? to be so. So you have a good night. Take care of yourselves. I'm going to see if uh, Herrick's burned down my kitchen. As he's walking <laughs> away from the table, I'm going to join him and ask him about the thing that we discussed um, in the secret secret. Oh, <laughs> oh, you mean old Bitey? <laughs> yeah, no, that 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 is the biggest knuckleheaded trout I've ever seen in my life. Uh, the f- uh, fisherman off of Mayor Donoval pulled him off. Uh, I don't see no trout. I forget the trout. name. But yeah, they hauled him in. I I love the damn thing. There was a wizard came in. Hang on, if you uh, go ahead and uh, walk within five feet of him. Go ahead. Uh, go ahead. Uh, I will very very tentatively move up. I'm I'm a little skeeved right now. Okay, go ahead and make a dexterity saving throw. We're in the bar. <laughs> you die. There's no place <laughs> safe. <laughs> He's a cold light walker. Surprise, mother. <laughs> no. um, okay, so with the 10, you managed to jump back from the thing as Bitey goes and like bites at you. And then he goes, Oh, there's a place I like to go farther up the river's flow. Where is it? I don't know. Must be under all the snow. This is why I don't come in this bar. <laughs> I, I'm gonna I'm gonna look back at at, at Scram Sack. <laughs> But mortified like, with, <laughs> with like a what in the actual fuck is happening <laughs> i'm sorry i do that to all the new people oh, oh it still makes me cry <laughs> oh wizard put a spell on him a while back he'll bite at anybody gets to the five feet of him <laughs> oh then he sings that dumb song that, that but yeah that's a that's about the uh, long and short of it uh, it's beyond the billy big mouth bass act that he just did i mean pretty much something 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 kind of alluring about him i I just don't know what because he is ugly as sin oh oh yeah no he's he's like god sphincter he's just the worst (laughs) damn you ryan And on right, that I, note, ladies and gentlemen, I, good night. I, 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 <laughs> and the scene. Yeah. Uh, okay, I, I, I may have more questions about that in the morning. I, it's, there's some, I don't know. I just have a feeling on that thing. Well, all right, friend. Then I'll see you, in the morning. And that, friends, is where we're going to go ahead and call it for tonight. Bye. Thank you so much for joining us for our first game of Cold Hard Witch. Yay! Yay. We coined the phrase. It looks like God's butthole. Sphincter. Sphincter. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Chowd. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It, You're welcome. You go, you go and with that, <laughs> it's only uphill from here. Oh, yes. man. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no. It was a very steep drop. Yes. 